Oh, there's there's nothing. Oh, there no, there it is. There's Resident is Resident Evil Two. It's Resident Evil Two. I disagree. This is the bullshit I subbed for. Excellent, Caustic. Thank you for the thirty-four months. Yeah, before I uh, before I get started with this, uh, I am pleased to say I've basically also finished uh, the next thing I'm going to upload to my YouTube. Like it's pretty much done. I uploaded it. Uh, the only thing I really have to do is make the thumbnail and, like, check the final for, like, any errors or whatever. I, I don't imagine there'll be any problem. Very likely, depending on how long this takes me... New video hype, let's New go. video hype. Depending on how long this takes me to do, uh, I might be able to just post the video, like, later tonight, if not tomorrow. Uh, and that's good, because I will be probably absent for a good chunk of next week. Uh, I have social obligations to attend to. Blah, blah, blah. That's very vague, but, like, I'm I'm out. I'm gone for, like, a lot of next week, so I'm just not going to be around. Content none. So I wanted to get that video done before I left for, like, most of a week. So at least there was, you know, something. Some, some proof that, you know, I, I haven't just been, like, sitting on my ass for the past two weeks doing nothing. Abandons you for the meat war. Trust me, I don't want to. But, uh, I have to. Stuff- stuff is occurring. Lamia, thank you for the 35 months. Alright, so, let's get started here on... So, first thing- the first question you might have is, uh, this- the stream is, Can we beat Resident Evil 2 without pressing the forward button? You might be curious as to how that even works if you missed me experimenting with that at the tail end of the last Resident Evil 2 stream I did. Uh, so we're gonna pick original mode, we're gonna pick Leon, and we're gonna pick the easy mode. I tried to do this on normal, uh, if someone else wants to try this on normal, be my fucking guest. Resident Evil. But we're gonna pick the easy mode, for this is the only one that I've proven it could be done with. Skip all this shit. Let's get it going. Okay. So, step one. Get rid of ye fuck. The main reason we want to start on easy mode here is that you start with like 112 bullets, which is uh, a lot. 120, rather. And the method of locomotion employed for this run is that when you press the aim button, you shuffle forward ever so slightly. This is the method of locomotion. Oh, okay, you know what? I'm gonna say I also can't press the back button. No, no steps will be taken. You can turn in place, but we can't move forward or backwards. I disagree. <laughs> Sammy the Librarian, thank you for the 24 months. Uh, Lucky Kaiser, thank you for the tier one. Thank you very much. If you could back, well, let's say no. Although. Something that's interesting is that the manner of locomotion depends on the equipped weapon. Uh, so if you use the knife, you do in fact actually shuffle backwards. Kadavra, thank you for the Prime Gaming. Thank you very much. Why would I do this to myself? I have my reasons. So I assumed you soon I was going to be walking backwards? Absolutely not. No way. Is this the opposite of a speedrun? I think it might be, actually, yeah. I disagree. Now here's the kind of bad idea I can get behind. Word. Word, 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 word. Ethicist, thank you for the 52 months. Guessing this is hell for the fingers. I mean, all you have to do is tap one button over and over again. It doesn't have to be, like, particularly fast, either. I don't think it will take to complete this run. God, probably, like, seven hours. <laughs> like, minimum? I don't know. I'm going to be here for a while if I do this in one sitting. This might be a two-stream thing. 
P, thanks for gifting five subs. Thank you very much. I can't even see who subscribed. The hype train thing is blocking it. Reaper's Void, Bloodfire Tagarung, the BFG, Balls Narkley. That's a good username. Angel Candy, enjoy your gift subs. Thank you very much, P. Have I thought this through to the boss fights that require dodging? Absolutely not. What gun type is the fastest shuffle forward? I think it's just the handgun. Incidentally, this is the reason we uh we've picked Leon for this uh this endeavor. Uh, the challenge- if you try and do Claire, the challenge becomes impossible about halfway through the game when you get to Sherry, because she doesn't have a gun. <laughs> you lose! How long does this game take to beat like this? That's what we're here to find out. <laughs> That's what we're here to find out today, folks. Uh, I hope I hope everyone's like good and strapped in for this. I'm gonna need conversation partners to accommodate this because this will take a fucking while. an arranger original original how the heck did I pass the first part with determination and willpower I just I don't know I killed all the zombies You kind of have to kill pretty much everything you come across in this run. Like, this, the, the, as, a, as a function of how the movement works, you kind of have to kill everything. You don't really get a choice, because the auto-aim will fuck you up if you tr even, like, evasion isn't really in the cards here, as you might be able to tell. Hey, Cinder. Greetings from Brazil. Always watch my sound. I hope runs first time catching me live. Also, this seems like hell. Good luck. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah, welcome everyone joining from the first time. I'm surprised there's been so many first time viewers already. Damn, Resident Evil challenge runs bring all the boys to the yard. Who would have thought? No, okay, so I was inspired to do this because a very long time ago, I know someone who has done this, but it was on like a Famitsu DVD that was published back in like 2005. Like that shit is ancient fucking lore. Yes! Wait. Who are you? We have made it to what Kendo. Hold your fire! I'm a human! <sighs> Sorry about that. Is this just a stream where I'm intending on turning it into one of those can you beat videos? I don't know, we'll see how this goes. What's going on in this town? Maybe. Hold on. I, I just finished a completely different YouTube video today. Like, I uploaded it this morning. It's not public yet. But odds are good it will be... Uh, public... Either very, like, later tonight or tomorrow. Now, if I were a smart person, I could have been like, oh, man, you know, if you subscribe to my Patreon, you get early access to the video, but I actually don't really know how to... Do people just post, like, unlisted YouTube links or something? I don't know how people do that sort of thing. Yeah. 
Either way, I didn't set that up because I'm dumb. Maybe I should have. Give give the patrons something something nice for being patient with me for not posting a video in like a month. Then again, I did post two in May, so. The singular pound here is two Canadian dollars, what gives? Well, unfortunately, there's this thing known as currency. I disagree. VJ Smith, thanks for gifting two subs. Prickly Pear Puncher and Vanza. Left 4 Dead vid did really well, huh? Yeah, it took off. It exploded. Right, I want that shotgun. That'll that the shotgun will be a key tool that will help us later. Figure by gifting some instead of subscribing, you are supporting, but can't be traced back to this poor life choice. The sins of what you have done will never be washed away. Figure out a way to get farther in this? Yeah, I, I, I referenced the existing material. Which is to say I rewatched the Famitsu video. I disagree. Arconius, thanks for gifting us up to VJ Smith. I can't see the shotgun. He has stopped breathing. Oh, there it is. Got it. Got it. Got it. Got it. That's a surprise tool that will help us later. You know what? Here's an idea. What does the sh does the shotgun move me backwards or forwards? I think it moves me sideways. What the fuck? The shotgun is a strafing tool. <laughs> yeah, the shotgun the shotgun moves me to the side. Yeah, okay, now now we've we've got every direction covered. The the handgun moves you forward, the knife moves you backwards, the shotgun moves you to the side. We can do it. We can move in any direction. I mean, I'm still allowed to turn, so Most in absolute terms though, that's a great question. Like, is it, is it faster to travel backwards with the shotgun? This, this seems actually very slow, in fact. I'm almost there. I'm almost there. Yes. I'm playing on the PC version so I can skip doors. Because, you know, I, I can't waste any time. Mm. Sorry, how are we all doing tonight?
thank me for this thrilling content. No problem. I only bring the most exciting ideas to the table. Last I imagine. I know, I might actually make it to the RPD in uh, the next three hours. I can't really tell if I'm moving properly at this point. It's a bit hard to tell due to the angle. I got past this before. Uh, Aha! There we go. I can't, I need to shoot that guy. I'm wasting bullets, they're a precious resource. Did I unbind the forward button or am I just avoiding it? I don't think I can, like, unbind forward. No, I don't need to check and see a whole bunch of stupid gun info. I got enough gun stuff from people yelling at me over the Left 4 Dead video. I don't want a repeat of that. We'll get there. <laughs> I swear. You know, I was reading up on a whole bunch of the version differences between the international and Japanese versions of Resident Evil 2. The game is in English right now, but this is like the Japanese PC port, so it's 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 geared to the Japan level of difficulty. And something that's weird about the international versions is that a whole bunch of the pickups are just kind of like invisible in the uh in the English version for some reason. Am I actually hitting stuff? Great. I'm getting these bullets at the end of this hallway. I need I need all the like we're going to be killing basically everything. I would like all the bullets. Riptire, thank you for the 18 months. No, this box! No, it's okay. It's okay. I can't walk backwards? No, that would defeat the point. I don't feel like, I, I, I think if you could just backwalk everywhere, it wouldn't be much of a, like... <laughs> Somehow, ah, oh, the auto-aim kicked in. Fuck. I'm facing the wrong way. Damn it. Come on. Come on. Come 
Yay! Can you turn off the auto aim? I think it's a cheat code in the Japanese versions. And I don't know if it works on the P. I don't know if you can turn it off on the PC version or not. You probably can with like the rebirth patches, like edits, I guess, but that's not standard. This sounds awful. Well, you always complain that Resident Evil speedruns and Silent Hill speedruns are always about pressing forward, so fuck you, I'm not going to press forward ever. What do you think of that? What now? I will never press forward, ever! <laughs> or backwards, for that matter. It has been 30 minutes. Don't exaggerate, it's been 25. I was on, like, I didn't start actually playing until we were, like, 25 minutes into the stream. Don't be so dramatic. Us. Do you know someone found this works in Remake as well? Like, the RE Remake 1, not 2 Make. This is my worst stream yet. Amazing idea. Thanks? Huh? I disagree. Ook. <laughs> Ook. Some toxic. Thanks for the three... The five months. Three months. It, like, shows those values to me in different order. I disagree. Woo, I love gimmick runs. Prior God, thanks for the 13 months. Oh my god, it's all coming out. I disagree. <laughs> Ten tenths would resub again. Croker, thanks for the 44 months. These are a lot of money. I've been streaming on Twitch for ages, damn. <laughs> now this is high octane gaming. Thanks for the Prime Gaming! For 60 months of Prime Gaming. 60 months of Prime Gaming. Uh, but unfortunately, under the new Twitch rules, Prime Gaming subs will now be banned instantly. Uh, as they do not help me contribute to getting in the Partner Plus program, because that was very well thought out. Can't have that anymore. It's terrible. I think my webcam is like positioned. It's doing that thing again where it's like fallen back slightly. I disagree. Doing my part six in row leg. Damey t t t t t t b. Thank you for the twenty months. Sorry, my brain is like I'm. My brain is like cooked in the summer heat right now. I'm like not seeing words correctly. T t t t t t b b b b. Okay, so like my brain is cooked due to the weather, 
And there's also the fact that what I'm currently doing is also, like, causing me to go numb to the sensations of existence. These are very nice backgrounds, though, you got to admit. I disagree. Umbrella Jill, thank you for the four months. Thank you very much. You can walk backwards as well, right? No. Backwards is banned. No, no walking in general. Yeah, if you shuffle with the knife, you can move backwards. But no, no, like, walking backwards. That would defeat the point. <laughs> ah. How are you going to push Ada's crates? By getting very close to them. Oh, he's not dead. So it's just a no walking challenge. Yeah, that's, yes. Correct. You say that like it's easier. <laughs> oh, it's just no walking? <sighs> Why am I like shuffling sideways rather than forward? What a bizarre sequence. Yeah, do this with a ring fit controller. You know, haven't haven't done one of those ring fit speedrun streams in a while, haven't I? I disagree. Can you beat Resident Evil 2 without pressing the 44 ward button? 44 ward button, Max, thank you for the 44 ward months. All right. Nothing can stand in my way now. Can't just walk backwards? No. No walking. I think this would be more easily explained if I changed my title to Can You Beat It Without Taking a Step? Because obviously if you could walk backwards everywhere, then that would make the game, like... I don't even think that would be very hard, honestly. <laughs> If, if I could just walk backwards across the whole game, I'd be I'd be done in like a few hours. Okay, 
Okay, these guys might stand in my way. Ah! They're standing in my way! Was the time estimate for this? I have no idea. You know, actually, on that note, I'm going to change the stream title. I'm going to change the stream title to Can You Beat This Without Taking a Step? Because people keep asking the Can You Walk Backwards thing. Which makes sense! I just didn't think of it. Because <laughs> I like defeats the point of the exercise, you know? I don't want to walk backwards. Am I auto aiming? Oh. It's alive! <laughs> I thought it was- I was auto-aiming onto something. <laughs> Do you not have anything on the corpse? I thought it did. Damn. I thought that dude had ammo on his corpse or something. <laughs> Any thoughts on how long this will take? I have no idea. Probably quite a while. This might be a two-stream dealio. I might have to pick this back up later. I don't know if I'm going to actually sit down and try and do this in one sitting. <laughs> Because, uh, currently... Currently... Is that not close enough? Ah, what a... What a, what a bunch of shit. I want- I want the bullet. Give me the bullet. Maybe two 24 hour streams? It will not take that long! Resident Evil 2 is not that long of a video game. Assuming that I can even complete the thing, you know? Wait, wait, there there are many challenges yet to be yet to be addressed. For instance, I don't have a fucking idea what my plan is for uh, for Croc. I have no idea what my game plan for that is going to be. of timed escape segments? Only the one. Only the one right at the end and the time limit's like five minutes. There we go. I'm out. Oh fuck. <laughs> there are zombies in this game! That's crazy! Mm. 
Okay, but let me let me tell you guys. I have a hidden technique. Took four minutes for the bus. Yeah, but I had to shoot like two things. Don't worry about it. There's a hidden technique. I don't. I actually don't know if the time to escape segment is possible, but I have ideas. Did you know that firing the magnum knocks you back really far? <laughs> behind you to boost them. Exactly. I don't know if that'll be enough. <laughs> I suppose we can find out. Mm, only a hundred bullets left. That's a bit low. This does give me time to drink my tea, though. Will I even have enough magnum bullets to get me through that section? I don't know. <laughs> Let's find out! This is a journey of discovery. I could play Uno while doing this. Uh, no. I don't... I don't want to play Uno. I just don't... No more. None of that. Oh, what the fuck? They all respawn. No, 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 no. We don't. We don't need this. Like that. Like to use ammo there would just be wasteful. Let us apply the knife technique to shuffle away backwards. Shit, that guy's getting close, that guy's getting close, that guy's getting close, that guy's getting close, that guy's getting close. Wait, can he walk out of that? Oh yes he can, he totally can, he totally can, he totally can. Uh Okay, well. There's another guy! Come on, men! Okay, I'm sorry. It was a prank. It was a prank, bro. It was a prank. Nah, oh, what the fuck? That was a real two-dude kind of situation. Hey, I can... There we go. It stopped. He gave me a boost. But it took my health away. I mean, well, I don't know how much damage that actually did. Ah, 
I win! Surprise even possible? Anything is possible if you put your mind to it. Your forehead! Utilize your forehead. This sucks! Um. Play fucking Dragon Quest on my phone while I wait. I died in one hit, what a loser. <laughs> Beat content. Dude, I gotta I gotta get to level twelve in Dragon Quest One on my phone. This is such a long hallway! <laughs> ah, Dragon Quest fucking sucks. Yeah, no, I've been playing uh, the Super Nintendo version of Dragon Quest 1 uh, on my phone. Because I've become one of those people who put a Super Nintendo emulator on his phone. Why no timer? <laughs> For what reason? I don't know. I'm not sure a timer was strictly speaking necessary. It helps sell the bit, you know, maybe it does. Maybe you're right. Maybe we should have a timer. All right. Fine, let's get a timer. That's my left for dead splits. It's not what we need. Fine, let's have let's add a, let's add a timer to this equation. Why not? I need to edit my layout though. It's like now now I'm taking longer because of this. This is all your fault. Uh, how do I how do I start 
the timer at like I don't know, like fifty minutes or something, because of how long we've been doing. It's an approximate value. It's not important. Well, that didn't work. Love that for me. Wait, start over. No, thank you. Uh, how does this work? There we go. Why not? Let's just start it at 50. I don't care. That's, like, very approximate. Am I only counting in seconds? Yeah, it's only counting in seconds. It's not going to move in milliseconds. I hate that. I hate millisecond timers. I'm I'm anti millisecond. Like as a as a like as a policy, I do not like the millisecond. Wow, I've never heard that song loop before. I did it! I reached the police station! I beat the game! Woo! God damn it. Marvin, could you come to me? Marvin, <laughs> Marvin. This is this. Leon spends the entire game desperately trying not to like to like have a turd plop out. That's what he's he shit himself, and he's desperately trying to not have it come out of his like trouser pocket, not pocket, trouser. The fuck, the leg bit. It's too hot for this joke. I quit. How do trousers work? I can't do funnies in this con- I can't work in these shabby conditions! <laughs> Joke died of heat stroke. Is this an actual speed run? It is now. I'm sure the Resident Evil community will be thrilled with this take. Put it on the category extension board. I mean, shit, there's a category of, uh, the fucking, the Ring Terror's Realm for the Dreamcast that's backwards bunny hopping only. Oh, man. Oh, man. He ran! Leon! He fucked it up. Oh, you must be the new guy. Leon. Sorry, but it looks like your party has been cancelled. What happened? You had a dream today where I was in your apartment and it was my birthday, so happy dream birthday. It's my birthday! Yay! Do I still have pizza? I mean, I finished eating the pizza, like, earlier. I had pizza- oh, you mean the plushie. Oh, I have pizza. You want pizza? You pizza? His pizza. But no one believed them. I never know- I never know where to put them, unfortunately. All this started to happen. Uh, uh, what flavor of Pepis is that? Cherry. Don't worry about me. 
Just rescue the survivors in the other rooms. Here, take this key card. You should be able to unlock the doors in the hall with this. Now go. But just go. Fine. But I'm coming back for you. Just hold on. That Leon didn't get the memo, dude. No, run it, run invalid. Turns out it can't be done. Never mind. Okay, the premise of this video is invalid. I quit. Fuck it. Sorry, guys. What a blunder! Can't believe you didn't think of this before committing to uh to the speed run, the slow run, the run, this, the. <laughs> Who is the doggo? This is pizza from the hit video game Chicory, A Colourful Tale. A game I love very much. Am I stuck on the- I can't really tell with this camera angle. T is Leaf Soup posts riveting gameplay. Ah, oh, what a riveting username! Mr. Leaf Soup, if that is your real name! Devolving to yelling at chat because the game is a game. <laughs> Slowly. What's the overall progress so far? I have completed the intro. Thus cementing my place in gaming history as the greatest gamer. I think I'm stuck on the wall though. <laughs> Hang on. Save the game, save the game. No, okay, actually, unlock the door first, then save the game. Do, do the maximum amount possible. Because in the event that I fucking die and have to load a save, <laughs> any action as trivial as using the computer will take another, like, 15 minutes of my life. What if I just played pirated episodes of Doug in the corner while I did this? What have I got on this computer? Does anyone want to watch the complete series of Daria? <laughs> Does it have the original music? Yeah, I've actually- I've got the, uh, the, uh, the, the remastered cut. <laughs> So it's got it's got the original music. Cause that there's there, there's like a, a a a cut you can find that fans put together of like the DVD quality animation, but with the like the the music from the original airing. So you can have the best of both worlds. Things that things are heating up in the Daria fandom. Let me tell you. 
you can, in fact, save your progress with this. Why did it... Did it come out blue? Why is it, like, white? My Leon B say, these are all, like, red and blue. Why is this one, like, white? I just saved twice by accident. No! My ink ribbons. I actually don't know why the color of the save file is different. That is a mystery for of an unrelated variety. Just for latest save? No, I mean they're both white. I actually don't know why it does that. Anyone who knows more about this, feel free to chime in. Genuinely, I have no idea why that's the case. It's probably not important, but I just don't know why that's the case. It's easy mode? Is... Is that so? That sounds like a reasonable idea. So the one hundred percent thought it was a joke? Absolutely not. We are serious as a heart attack around here. This seems relaxing. It's not bad, you know? I got, I got chirping birds outside my window. Because I've got everything open because it's fucking hot as shit in the UK right now. Or at least in my neck of the woods. Speaking of, like, of YouTube content and what have you, because obviously this is an idea born of that sort of bullshit, uh, playing Lupe on stream and then a little bit more off stream gave me the idea- I've really wanted to make a series about just, like, really fascinatingly terrible JRPGs, because Lupe is a fucking strong contender. This has been a banner year for really shit RPGs. <laughs> that game is bewildering. In so many ways. The problem is that JRPGs are so time-consuming, you know? You know, like, this isn't, obviously. This is a very sensible thing to do with my finite time on this Earth. Just because it railroaded me into dating my cousin? No, that's, like, what, definitely one of the strange things that has occurred, but it's not, like, the reason. Just, noth nothing about Lupate seems like it's even working correctly. Is it a good idea to abandon? Oh, there's a trick. There's a tricky. There's hmm. There's a trick here. Is it reasonable to abandon the knife? <laughs> because without the knife, I can't walk backwards. Well, I mean, I can walk backwards, but I have to kill every. Uh, let's go. I think. I think I'll go without the knife. I think it's okay. The reason that sounds ominous. Okay, so Lupate is a game that has so many systems, but they behave in ways to the point where I'm, I, I like, I'm playing that game and I'm like, this cannot be working right. 
There's just no way. Like, let alone how it was envisioned on paper, but sometimes characters, like, bilocate into the ceiling. Sometimes the path, like, they, they all kind of path around town, but sometimes they just walk into each other. Everyone starts gathering outside the closed school at 9pm in the evening for no obvious reason, like, they're fucking cult members. It's just weird. It's like, this cannot be working right. This game cannot be behaving the way it's meant to. There is just no way that can be true. I just can't imagine. I don't envision it. That cannot be the case. Now at loop eight. The word loop and an eight. It's, it's a truly baffling production, and I got a copy for free. <laughs> I got it from the publisher. And I, this probably was not the, inten the attention that they were hoping for when they did that, but that game honestly inspires me to think about making a series about just really bad... Because that game, that game goes on my, my, my shelf of, like, really fascinatingly bad RPGs. Like, next to shit like Sonic Chronicles, fucking Unlimited Saga, uh, Infinite Guitars... Uh, ancient Roman. Just really bewildering productions. Things where you're just like, this, like, none of this, mate. Like, what on earth happened? Like, while this was being made, what the fuck were, was anyone thinking? Like, genuinely, what the hell? Games that are certainly not boring. I mean, Loop 8's kind of boring, unfortunately. It's kind of the tragedy of it, is that if it were, like, consistently insane, it might actually still be kind of fun. I don't know... Okay, how am I going to deal with this liquor? I brought the shotgun with me, precisely because I feel like... Like, i got to make a trip through this hallway quite a few times, so I probably ought to just kill this guy. I don't know how viable the handgun is for doing that. I disagree. Here's a wrong sub. Sorry. <gasps> the wrong sub! Phils, thank you for the 13 months. Will the liquor even react? That's true, isn't it? This isn't taking a step. <gasps> what a technique. No, the auto aim is going to like be a pain about in the ass about it, though, is the thing. Secret. And some of these won't spawn because they rely on walking triggers? No, 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 no. The liquor is death. So it only starts to pursue you if it hears you take a step, and this isn't stepping. <laughs> Yeah, blind. Right. Sorry, the other one. <laughs> In my defense, The Last of Us makes that mistake as well. I think it starts pre-aggroed, though. No, it's gonna walk straight into me. This is a problem. No, that's gotta go. It's gonna... Like, if it collides with you, that's a problem. Because it will... Because, like, they're, they're blind, but they will react if they touch you.
So they're blind. How do they know they're touching you? Huh? Can't feel when you don't have eyes. What the fuck are you saying? <laughs> Stop it! Closing your eyes deactivates your sense of touch. Am I being messed with? Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. You need to stay calm and focused. We have many challenges on the road ahead. Using a turbo controller? I don't have one. Switch turbo controller? Yeah, but it's a. I'm not playing this game on a fucking switch pad. Thought the title was a meme, you're somewhat impressed? <laughs> no memes around here. We're on only serious gamers. I would never clickbait my audience, only the truth. The truth will set you free. See us on YouTube with some clickbait exaggerated face. None of my YouTube thumbnails actually have my face in it, aside from the archive channel, and it's the same face. But yeah, I need any face. Like disagree. Like those, those kind of faces, you know? Anonymous, thanks for gifting a sub to Lord Chaos Longshot. Playing Toontown would pair perfectly with this. I can't even tab out of this game because although it pa it's one of those games that pauses if it's not in focus. Can't even do me fucking flashcards while I wait, mate. Although I've actually mostly finished them for today. I've got like 10 left or whatever. Uh, are there bullets in this direction? The flashcards on my phone? I could, yes. That's true. The bosses could be tricky? Could be. <laughs> Twenty twenty two incident has my face in it. Yeah, but that's so twenty twenty two, you know. Damn it, I didn't need that. CEX is the computer exchange. Can't wait for Claire's route. Claire's route is impossible. Uh, to do this with because you get to Sherry and Sherry doesn't have a gun so she can't move. <laughs> there, there is a reason I picked Leon for this. I did, I did actually think that far enough ahead. But the sewers. Ada has a gun.
just like a no A button presses thing. It's uh, just no walking. No, don't shoot. <laughs> Mistakes. I'm trying to... Can I get behind the podium? Is that allowed? Is that legal? Is this a legal move in the game of Resident Evil 2? Holy shit! Game of the year. That's remarkable. forward? I am, I am. I gotta, like, look at Leon's feet sometimes to be like, am I actually moving forward? Because <laughs> you can absolutely get stuck on the geometry sometimes. You gotta be attentive. It's a very serious run type. Scenario with the crocodile? I think both A scenarios have a crocodile, yeah? So either way... What? Yay! I did it! The jewel, it's, it, pick it up, the, the jewel, it's too far. No. Uh. I got it. I got the jewel. You should have expected this when seeing the stream title. Yeah, you should have. I feel like it's pretty clear. Check to see if knife aiming or shotgun aim moves you further. Uh, I have. They move you in different directions. The knife moves you backwards and the shotgun moves you sideways. <laughs> I've actually already used the knife at one point in this run to back away from a group of enemies rather than trying to fight them because they're on the other side of a wall. Uh, but the knife is in the box now. The shotgun is really not helpful for movement at all. But it is very good at killing things, so... Can't argue with that.
disagree. Troclaws, thank you for the 25 months. Like, you make a game, and then someone does this for their playthrough. Do you think the people who make the game, like, take a look at that and are like, what the fuck is wrong with these people? Do you, do you think anyone who worked on Final Fantasy VII, like, looked at the couple of people who got to level 99 in the first reactor and went, what the fuck? What the fuck? Enemy gamers. Is there anything I, strictly speaking, need in the safe room? No. Then for now, we shall forego it. space do I actually have enough? Ah, such progress on stairs. topic of worst JRPGs, what would you guys say is, like, the worst JRPG you've ever played? And I want, like, bafflingly awful. If anyone, if, if you answer, like, Final Fantasy 13, then I'm not taking you seriously. Like, bewildering shit. Jade Cocoon. Really? Jade Cocoon? Jade Cocoon's not that bad. Skill one on PS1 called The Hunter. Mm, okay. Final Fantasy 2 is not good. I finished Final Fantasy 2 recently. That game is not terrible. That's not even close to the tier of bad I'm thinking of. That game does have some really shitty dungeons, though. I'll give you that. But like, if 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 those are like the worst JRPGs you've played, you you like we're we're not we're not operating on the same thought process. Miracle Warriors, I haven't heard of that, but that sounds like it's got potential. Hyperdimension Neptunia One, not the remake. Mm, yeah, yeah, I can see that. Hyperdimension Neptunia One is. I've heard many things about it. I've heard it's quite a piece of work. 
Yeah, Unlimited Saga. I think Unlimited Saga might be one of the uh, the worst reviewing games. Like, on the PS2. Elemental Gimmick Gear. Isn't that a Dreamcast game? Or is it a Saturn game? I can't recall a single game you've played or remember and yet feel it's shitty in the way I've been inspired by Loop 8. Talking about Sonic Dark Chronicles, I don't know. Dude, I could, I could absolutely make like a, a fucking video about Sonic and Dark Chronicles and the bewildering... But talking about a shitty Sonic game is, is too easy, you know? Can I actually get close enough to push this? Uh oh. I'm trying to finagle myself into a position where I can push this forward. But, but without actually having to walk in front of it. <laughs> this is proving a bit challenging. Ah ha ha! Here we go. Yay! There we go, that'll do. Why is Dark Chronicles bad? It's one of the most aggressively okay. For one thing, it's one of the worst sounding games you'll ever hear in your life. Like let's like let's 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 get out in front of that uh, like straight away. That game sounds terrible. You ain't you ain't never heard a sound like Sonic Chronicles, and you 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 don't, you don't ever want to hear a sound like Sonic Chronicles. It sounds like fucking dog shit. I mean, it sounds bad. I mean, every male character in the game projectile vomits on hit. Like, every single male character from enemy to party member, when they get hit, it goes... Bleh! No, that didn't count as pushing, apparently. God damn it. It's so difficult to manage this. That's gotta be... That, that'll do. Fuck it. You're gonna have to give me some leeway for this, because... <laughs> Pushing is a very delicate act. We'll do the other one on the way back. Fuck doing both of these right now. Uh, and every, every female party member in Sonic Chronicles has, like, a weirdly sensual moan for their on-hit sound effect. All, all the sound effects are broken. Some of them, like, play so much it clips into each other. Like, when multiple sound effects start overlapping, the audio starts crackling because it's, like, clipping. It's great. Awful. It's just very bad-sounding video game. And then on top of that, uh... Elemental affinities, half of them don't work properly. There, There is a, a random chance you can get a chow with, like, a, an, an effect that instantly kills stuff on regular hit. If it procs on a boss, it crashes the game. Because uh, it doesn't like it if you do that. It'll, it'll crash the fucking game, like, outright. Uh, there's also the fact that there is a stat called attack and, an, and a, a, a stat called power. Power affects damage. Attack is actually your accuracy. You are not told this because power is hidden from you, the player. You don't know that there's a stat called power, but it, uh, equipment affects it. It's also innate to character level ups. This is never ever explained.
Change your answer to record of Argorist War on PS3. Mm. Is it like weird bad or like just bored? Here's the thing. There's there's a kind of, there's a difference in the sort of badness I'm looking for, right? I know of Lunar Dragon Song. I've not played it. I have personal experience with that one. But I know that's a game where if you run it, fucking drains your health. Shut up, Chris. I just want your medal. Leon. Leon. It's good to see you're still among the living. And then, of course, there's a there's there's Yeek. You know, a postmodern RPG. That's definitely that would definitely be a contender in this field. I think. Ah, but also there's also the Demon Rush. <laughs> There's also the Demon Rush. That would be a fucking strong contender in this field. Right. The Demon both both Demon Rushes would be unbelievably strong contenders. That way we can keep in touch if anything happens. There's also Final If you're very loose with how you define RPG, there's also Final Sword. Like, that's a bit more Breath of the Wildy than, like, JRPG, but, like, on the other hand, it's also just astounding. What a production. But what about second shotgun? <laughs> Is Galarian's an RPG? Mercifully, no. I would not classify it as an RPG. Yeah, Galarian's is also not like the kind of terrible I'm looking for. I like Galarian's, honestly. I get kind of frustrated with the run for various reasons, but I actually think Galarian's is like worth the playthrough. Uh, Galarian's 2, quite bad. You ever trying to play Eternal Ring? I have Eternal Ring! I've got that! Oh, I've got that fucking game! It's right, I'm um, looking, oh, I'm seeing it's back there on that shelf there, mate. Yeah, I, I have a fascination with, like, the truly, truly shit JRPGs, and I've played, like, enough truly shit JRPGs that I feel like I could establish a theme with that. Like, a kind a kind of mini-series. If I, The thing about that, though, is that JRPGs are very time-consuming. Like, if, if, if I wanted to, like, get the footage to, say, make a video about, like, I don't know, Sonic Chronicles, I'd have to actually play through all of Sonic Chronicles, and that game is not short. What qualifies as shit qualities? Well, it's hard to define. But there's, like, a difference between games that are, like, just kind of boring bad JRP, like, one that you didn't really like that much. Like, I fell off Final Fantasy XIII towards the end because I didn't like its final quarter at all. I thought it was miserable, I thought it was slow, I thought every combat took, like, 6,000 years to resolve. Didn't enjoy it very much. But it's not, like, a bafflingly bad production. I just didn't vibe with how it chose to open up towards the back end. Very unfortunate choice. But there's a lot of positive aspects to the, the production, whereas, like, games like Lupe and Sonic Chronicles and Ancient Roman are games where I look at them and I'm just like, this cannot be how anyone wanted this to be. Like, this, surely not. Like, you, you can't even begin to comprehend what the idea was. Fuck! The door is locked! Bad 
back we go! <laughs> Maybe he could not bring yourself to really like Persona 3. Uh, Persona 5, rather. I didn't like Persona 5 either, but Persona 5 is definitely not, like, a candidate for, like, truly bewilderingly shit JRPG. Like, not even close. Hoshio Miruhito is also an extremely confusing one. That, that, that is a game where you start next to the town on the map, and but the town is invisible. So if you don't you don't see it, you just wander around. Uh, that is a game where if you enter the magic menu before you have learned a magic spell, uh, you are softlocked because there is no back button. Like that's the tier I'm operating on. That's that's what I that's what we need. That's the kind of thing I request and require. And told that Blue Dragon was awful. Blue Dragon is not awful. No way. Game with no back button. Hoshio Miruhito. I don't. Let's, you're gonna, someone's gonna have to type that in. Like I'm playing. I'm very busy right now playing a game. Uh, sometimes localized as stargazers in English. But I don't actually think that game has an English translation patch. I think you're on your own for that one. Ancient Roman's English translation patch is not complete yet either. I believe that's something uh, Aria is like continuing to plug away at when they get a moment. Yeah, there was a speedrun of Hoshio Miruhito, but, like, that takes the form of, like, scrolling the map in weird ways to glitch the game out beyond recognition, because for some reason it interprets Famicom controllers plugged into port 3 as, like, camera control. Some, something, I forget what the specifics are, but, like, you can do fucky shit with that game if, with, like, controllers plugged into weird ports because it doesn't, it doesn't sanitize the inputs properly. There really is just no music in this goddamn hallway, huh? Hate it here. Can the original release of Final Fantasy is a shit game due to being incomplete and full of glitches, bugs, and softlocks? No, I finished Final Fantasy 1 on the NES and I thought it was pretty alright. Like, it's pretty basic, but sometimes that's what you need. Like, it's a bit broken and a bit of a mess, but, you know, overall it's, like, fine. I don't really think any Final Fantasy game would manage to qualify. I don't think there's any Final Fantasy that's, like, really that degree of shit. It's gotta there's gotta be a certain je ne sais quoi. It's hard to define, that's for sure. And it, it's it's necessarily a bit vague. And see the bravest isn't that a mobile game? That's too easy. Like, yes, maybe very well, it might also be garbage, but mobile games feel a bit too easy. Like, like, if you're not even going to try, then, like, that's no fun. Like, a game like Loop 8 is bad, but not because no one tried. <laughs> there is demonstrable trying occurring in Loop 8. Same with Yeek. Like, trying is definitely occurring. Effort was put forward. <laughs> Mori was pretty bad. You're pretty fucking bad at posting. The f Get out of here! Shut up! You're stupid!
the newest Pokemon generation. Yeah, you know. <laughs> I don't say okay, the thing about the newest Pokemon gen as well is that like my experience of that game was characterized by the highest highs and the lowest lows. The low like the low points of the new Pokemon are so low. That game is sometimes so fucking bad. But then in, like, the last hour, it's like a beautiful glimpse into an alternate universe where Pokemon is actually really fucking good. It's like, shit! This came from an alternate dimension. So every, like, everyone, like, suddenly, suddenly for a, for a brief beautiful stretch of the last hour, everything just kind of works. Like, to the, to the story, to the music, to the, the gameplay mechanics themselves, everything suddenly clicks into place and it actually works really well. Oh, you know what I've heard? I've heard Demi Kids is pretty bad. I can't confirm that, and neither can anyone else, because I don't think they're translated, so you're all on your own for that one. I got. I got to strike up these conversations to keep myself sane because, like, are you seeing how <laughs> how long this is taking? <laughs> it's surprisingly difficult to just walk in a straight line <laughs> in this. Is that gay PS3 RPG you played as an anime girl with a gun overlaid onto a 3D world? Toki Toa! Toki Toa! Now that's... Oh, that's an interesting... Ah, oh, you've unlocked a memory with that one. That's an interesting choice. Time and Eternity, yeah, in English. I think that, yeah, it's like, it's, uh, it's Tokito in Japanese. I, th I think that might be the short version. I can't remember the full fucking name. But that's, that's an interesting game. That's definitely, I'd forgotten about that. That's very, some, that's definitely something. That's definitely an idea. Yes! David Peeby plays Yo Pong. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Eternal Sonata? I've heard that's not so bad. <laughs> Slow down, Leon might get scared. Fuck him! <laughs> I got places to be. Okay, so I gotta go through. Oh, I gotta walk all the way back out to the main hall. I gotta go get the fucking the spade key, and I gotta come all the way back up. Beyond the Beyond. I know someone who speedruns that game. I wonder what he'd have to say about it. Resident Evil Gaiden? I'm not sure I'd classify that as a JRPG, you know? Also, here's the thing. I'm a fucking Gaiden apologist. I actually think that game's pretty good. 
I don't think it's even close to the worst game in this franchise. I think Gaiden's, like, pretty alright. But I tell you what's a Game Boy Color game that would definitely qualify. Animorphs. Tell me it wouldn't. Are we talking trash JRPGs? We are, yes. Mel, you've almost certainly got something to contribute to this conversation. We've brought up uh, Unlimited Saga, Sonic Chronicles, uh, Toki Toa. Specifically JRPGs or any RPGs. I'm leaning more towards JRPGs, but like... The definition's a bit loose as is, you know? Sudeki. Ah, oh, like the, the Xbox one. Like, truly bafflingly shit JRPG. This conversation started because I've, I've play, I have I've played Loop 8 recently, Maelstrom, and Loop 8 is bewildering. It is, it is a kind of bad where I can't even begin to imagine what was going through, like, I can't, like, this can't, that game cannot be working right. Like, what is going on? I, I wish it were more consistently insane, at least, because then it might actually be funny, but unfortunately it's also very tedious. <laughs> but I kind of want to finish it at some point anyway, because, like, I just... It, I'm just awestruck by its construction. It's not bad for lack of effort. You gotta... I'll, I gotta hand it to him. Just like Fuga is not near a bad game. No, that game's not bad. I mean, I obviously I like it. I like Fuga a lot. I don't think it's like a perfect game, but there's not a lot like it, and I think it's more hit than miss. Whereas there's not a lot that's like Loop 8, and it's pretty much all miss. <laughs> so we're talking about is the Bioware one Dark Brotherhood? Yes, yeah, Sonic Chronicles Dark Brotherhood. That game is on my, that game is on my shortlist for like worst JRPGs and possibly worst game on the Nintendo DS. It's truly bizarre. So I've been thinking about this because I've been inspired by how tremendously fucked Lupe is. I'm just like I could make an entire series about my fascination with just really shit JRPGs because I finished Sonic Chronicles like twice. <laughs> Says the puppy. Yeah, I've got a plushie of, uh, of pizza from Chicory, a colourful tail over here. I have a hard time believing I would like Fuga. Well, believe it. Play Lennus Paladin's Quest? I've never even heard of that, actually. Do you have a series by me about bafflingly bad JRPGs? Well, hold on to that. Who knows? Maybe one day. I don't... I, I For what it's worth, I haven't even... Like, this is a very, like pie in the sky. I, I haven't even begun to, like, write what that would be like, or even collect the footage for anything of the sort. I want them herbs. <laughs> I want it. I want them herbs. Give me the herbs, worm. And mine. You're a begrudging fan of Compile Heart? I am not a begrudging fan of Compile Heart. I am a hater. <laughs> I am a hater of Compile Heart. <laughs> Compile Heart games stink! This looks fun. Oh, it's a great idea. Known hater. I'm such a hater. Neptunia, right? Yeah, like the first one, definitely. I haven't actually- I haven't played that game myself to like really- attain firsthand what the nonsense is. But that that one comes up pretty consistently. I 
I feel like I feel like there's got to be some merit to to that. Fairy Fencer was pretty meh. I think I played Fairy Fencer, and yeah, it's meh. But I'm not sure it's like the specific kind of bafflingly shit I'm trying to like get a hold of here. It's just a bit formulaic, is all. I'm looking. I'm looking for Kusoge, like true blue nonsense. I was uh, watching someone, uh, a Japanese streamer, play something, and he himself said in Japanese, this is, like, considered a really bewilderingly shit RPG. So apparently I, I follow someone whose brain operates on the same wavelength as mine. It was like, Maten no Sometsu, I think they said the name was. It's a Mega Drive game. I'd never heard of it before. Nor did I really get the shape of why it was apparently considered so shite from, uh, from that stream, because pretty much all he did was get killed by octopuses. <laughs> Maybe that's why it's shitty. It's a game where you get killed by octopi. How far into the game am I, would I say? Uh, I'm not, is what I'd say. I'd say... Uh, I'd say... Nowhere. I don't think I need- I should be near the windows when I do this. <laughs> no, that's like the bad thing! Off! I don't- <laughs> being near the windows is less than ideal. It's very hard to move in a straight line. Most bad RPGs end up being incredibly tedious or needlessly unfair. Yeah, it is hard to find something in the suite, but that's true of like bad video games in general, I think. Like when you're, when you're trying to find something that's like very entertainingly like bizarre and fucked up. Cause like when you think of like a very bad video game, like especially of recent ones, you know, people say, oh, you know, what about Forspoken or whatever? That's like, cause like Forspoken isn't like the kind of wacky, like, truly nightmarishly bad. It's just a bit underwhelming, you know? Do any of the Kingdom Hearts games count? I'm not sure any of those are really awful enough. Gollum? Gollum is a strong... Gollum is definitely a strong contender for, like, bewildering bad, though. That might... Like, Gollum might actually get you there. Did you guys even know you could shoot those? Because <laughs> I didn't! I've never tried to do that. <laughs> I actually didn't know that was even an option. Good to know. Hi, guys. This is Gollum Gamers. The people are insatiable. They want Gollum, and they want it now. There's a part of my brain that's thinking about the Penny Arcade RPGs now as well. The one that's on, like, on the Rain Slick Precipice of Darkness. But the thing is, is that they're not terrible. They're just odd. Like, their existence is strange, but they're not really awful games. I thought the third one was kind of fucking boring, but oh well.
Once Dead is a recent terrible and cringe game, lots of streamers got sponsored to play it, no one finished it. I got an offer for that game and didn't take it. Because <laughs> I smelled fucking blood on the water. I finished the fourth game to the Penny Arcade games have at least a vaguely satisfying conclusion. I don't think I ever got around to playing the fourth game. Oh, Spectrobes. I've never... I, I've heard of Spectrobes, but I don't think I've ever actually seen footage of it. What's the ETA on this run? Fuck, dude. I don't know. At this rate, I'm not sure I'm going to be able to finish it tonight. We're like two hours in, and I have not even finished with the fucking Unicorn Medal yet. Christ! Oh yeah, Power Wall, the one that's just Pokemon with guns. I'm 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 looking forward to that because surely, no matter how that game turns out, it's gotta be at least interesting, right? Like, even if even if it look like even if it's like terrible, surely it's gotta be at least funny. Like just just the whole ass commitment to like such a pointlessly edgy fucking idea is like, this has gotta be something, right? came in for another 18 hour stream ready for more this will not be an 18 hour stream why is it so hard to walk in a straight line dude <laughs> The camera angle makes this, like, surprisingly tricky. Like, straight isn't what you think it is. Comments that fit in on Pride Month. <laughs> Be a week long subathon. Yeah, you know, go ahead. Yeah, you know, for, for every sub, one more step. My mashing is making. No, that's me, like, fucking bouncing my leg up and down. I do that. Something just flew in through the window. There's a bug in the room! Yeah, someone brings heat, so I've got to have the window open, but then fucking bugs fly in. Piece of shit. Dude, a bee flew in my window, uh, flew all the way through the room to the front room, smashed into a wall head on, and then fell behind the couch, and I didn't come back out. And I was like, I think it just died. I think it just, like, crashed into the wall so hard it just died on impact. I'm just like, okay. I haven't gone and fished it from out from behind the couch. I'm not moving that fucking thing. Leon got that stanky leg. Yeah, Ooblitz is a, an epic exclusive, I think, so... Fart noises, no one's played it. <laughs> oh! 
I haven't played the Beastie Ball demo yet, but I'm very interested in doing so. I might make a stream out of that to go with the Steam Next Fest. It's not part of the Steam Next Fest, but, you know, I'll be playing a bunch of demos during that anyway. Because I like the Steam Next Fest. I go through the list, I click on anything that's interesting, and we find some games. It's amazing speed tech work with the other weapons as well. Uh, the, the weapon in question actually moves you in different directions. The knife moves you backwards, the shotgun moves you sideways. I know these are some bug snacks, and I realized I never saw any heard anything of that in the end. Bug snacks was pretty good. I actually did play through Bug Snacks, because I think I got... Did I buy it, or did I get a key for it? I can't remember. I think I got a key for it. Was I a corporate shill or not? Shit. Don't remember. But I actually thought Bug Snacks was a pretty good game. I've done it. I've accomplished the greatest goal. If I had a PS5, I think everyone got it free. I did not have a PS5 at the time, no. No one did. Back when that game came out, the PS5 was, like, completely fake. Like, somehow even faker than it is now. Yeah, there's, there's a bunch of, like, off-brand Pokemon games now. Coromon, Nexamon, Temtem. My ear was itchy. Although, the thing is, none of those have managed to, uh, to really capture the, the Pokemon spark. And the reason for this, like, is obvious. They, 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 they don't get furries to actually do any of the designs. And you can tell. You've, you can obviously tell. That's, that's the secret. That's why Beastie Ball will be the one that succeeds. <laughs> It just makes sense. I tried the demo for Coromon, uh, and I'll be honest with you, I thought it was woefully boring. Uh, and Nexamon I looked at footage of, and I found the writing really annoying. I can't explain why, other than just it's trying to be funny and isn't. So is my opinion, anyway. I've heard good things about Cassette Beasts, but uh, I didn't play it, unfortunately. I wanted to. They were doing, like, influencer outreach for it, but uh, the timing window for the, the coverage they wanted was really restrictive for me at the time. I was busy. Uh, so I tried to make something work out, and it didn't work out, and it fell through, so I just never ended up playing the game. See, this is me looking straight forward on entering this room, and I'm still just, like, drifting off to the left. Like, this is this is a perfectly straight angle, and this is still the direction I'm drifting off in. Is that just, like, a function of the camera direction, or is it, like, just how the movement works? I couldn't tell you.
It's God punishing me for my hubris. Patient microphone wiggle. No, again, that's me just bouncing my legs up and down. <laughs> I do that. Like, a lot. Restless leg energy. We'll get there eventually. I did it. Agree. Six in success. Grimalkin, thank you for the 14 months. Success. I feel like a lot of stuff came out around at the start of the month that I like was paying attention to, but I've kind of gotten through that now, and now it's like, now what? Now, now I'm free to be on my PlayStation One bullshit again. Hence, hence Resident Evil Two. Hence this fucking stupid shit. Is that close enough? Are you close enough? Will that do? That'll do. That'll have to do. Wait, shit. Handgun ammo. <laughs> Wait, don't push. Don't do it too much. I need the handgun ammo. Is that still close enough? Is that still close enough? Yeah, excellent. We love it here. What's the crank for? Oh, it's the it's the clock tower. My inventory space check? <gasps> Tragic. That's nah, okay. Is it okay? No, nah, it's okay. Leon, get down! <laughs> Leon, no! <laughs> get down! Leon! There we go. Are we making what can be called good time? No. No, I can't say we are.
minute is an 80% run with the comment D pad broke. Might be taking the piss a bit too much, even for me. You thought the title was sarcasm? Why? <laughs> there is no sarcasm here. We only do truthful things on this stream. I have never once been sarcastic in my life. Why do you think I'd start now? I only tell the truth. Between the ratio between speedrun and this, like two hours to get here, how long would the run would have taken? Oh, the run's over by now, twice. Like, a speedrun would have finished twice over. Like, a speedrun of this game is like 55 minutes. <laughs> At least they stay cleared, you know? You know, there's a button on the rebirth patch that can make the game go at like two times speed. It'd be very helpful right now, but I don't know what the button is. And I'm a bit- I'm, I would rather not st like start drumming the fucking function keys. What's a cooling mat? Is a mat that can make you cool? What is this technology? Explain immediately. How does that work? If it's a mat, it's just going to get hot. This sounds like witchcraft. I'm not about it, me. Pressure is applied, they get cold? That sounds so fake. Got two for the cats. I want one for me. <laughs> I've been sleeping like crap since the fucking heat wave started. 
That's why I haven't streamed very much. Temperature over there varies, but it's been as high as like, I don't know, like fucking 28 degrees. It's not that bad right now, but I've also got all the windows open and running a fan. I feel like simply saying what the number is is inevitably going to lead to comments that's like, ah, oh, it's, it's this, it's, ah, oh, it's a bigger number where I live. Blah, blah, blah. Like right now it's alright. I think it also just rained, which helps. I don't think I can actually open this door. But I'm going to touch it. It's a diamond door. But regardless, it has been uncomfortably hot over the past handful of days, so I've been sleeping worse, which means I've not been streaming as much, because when I wake up and I'm half asleep, I just choose not to stream that day. But so as a result, I've been working on YouTube videos more often, which is why I finished a new video today. So, you know, there's like, there's trade-offs to this, at least. I really do just have, like, restless brain rot, though. Like, I, I even when I'm like, oh, man, I'm tired, I don't feel like streaming, I don't just relax. <laughs> it's like, no, make something. Always grinding. But, like, why? I don't know why I'm like this. My grind set so good, I should give you the stream money, just so I have more excuse to grind harder. Alright, dog can get out of here. It has taken me a very long time to simply get up this part of the game, get the medal, come all the way back down, use the medal, get the key, <laughs> come all the way back up. I think it's taken me like a full hour just to do this, this part. And this is not something that's supposed to take a long time.
my grind set go, go so good. I can't, my my goods. <laughs> My grind set so good. Next on the to-do list is order pizza, make a diss video for a teenager, and get thrown in jail. Absolutely. I would like to order a pizza. That much is true. So even now, I'm thinking of, uh, of what the subject of the next... Because I've, I've completed a YouTube video, and already now I'm thinking, what's the subject of the next video that I make? The one I actually have to, like, write. If not me... If I, if I deign to turn this bullshit into a YouTube video. <laughs> but the one I actually... It's like, hmm... What of that pile? What do I go with? on a taste for YouTube. There are many things that don't express well in anything but the format of a YouTube video. Make some clickbait. I'm back here. I did. I went all the way back, used the unicorn medal, got the spade key, and I made it all the way back here. I've got the jewel. I left it there on purpose, such as the su such as to have inventory space. Any spare controllers? No, but like, it's fine, you just press R1. Maybe R2? No, has to be R1. RIP. No alternate button. I've, I've, see, I've actually generally decided to, like, the subject of the videos that I make is probably gonna be mostly not speedrunning related. I've tried, I tried making speedrun content for a, a pretty long time, it doesn't do very well. Whereas the instant I made a move to talking about stupid Japan-only bullshit like the Left 4 Dead arcade game, that suddenly did very well. And it's like, ah, I think I have a niche here. Well, Absolute Maniac came up with this run idea. Well... A Japanese person in, like, 2005, I think, is the actual answer to that question. But I'm the one who watched that uh, very obscure thing on a Famitsu DVD and thought, that sounds like a fucking stupid stream idea. Follow the clicks and revenue. Well, but I like making videos about, like weird gaming oddities or whatever, whereas the speedrun stuff is, like, the subject I know very well, but I tried to do that, and that never really played very well on YouTube for whatever reason. But that kind of puts me in an awkward position, because now I think I have two completely different audiences. <laughs> I have two- I have two completely different, like, sets of expectations. Do a drama vid about the Valorant guy sitting on a rare rhythm game. I can't make a video about that. I feel like the tweet explains itself pretty well. Man, I was getting fucking comments on that that was like, oh, how is he supposed to know the game is rare? It's like, that's not the point! Don't sit on the fucking cabinet! Doesn't, doesn't matter if it's common, don't sit on arcade cabinets! Oh, 
Or, or the one, uh, I got a comment that's like, man, collectors in the Japanese are so weird. It's like, that is a game in public operation, and I assure you the sentiment is not- I wasn't, like, particularly angry about dudes sitting on a cabinet. I don't fucking live in Japan. I don't live anywhere near that a cabinet. Like, fucking- has nothing to do with me. I just thought it was funny the way it, like, lit a fire in the rhythm game world. I caught wind, you know? But then I got a whole bunch of comments when I, like, translated stuff. So it's like, oh, man, you know, the Japanese are so weird being mad about people sitting on the cabinet. It's like, I assure you the sentiment is not unique to Japan. I assure you that would piss off anyone if, like, if the arcade was sufficiently local enough. Free inventory space. Ah! How is that not triggering the order, man? I would just sit on an arcade cabinet. They were doing it for like a photo shoot or whatever because no respect for. No respect for other people's property. Like, it may shock you to learn this, but it's considered a faux pas of arcade etiquette to sit on the cabinet. Like, regardless of region, you're just not supposed to do that. <laughs> You know, unless it's like a pump it up cabinet or a DDR or a dance floor, like one of those ones that have like giant metal platforms that people stomp on all the time. Like no one's gonna give a shit if you sit on that. The fucking like they're huge and they're built to withstand the weight of two people crashing into them. But like stand up cabinets with the panel or whatever, you're not meant to sit on those. <laughs> But obviously that, that are like annoyed people because the game the dude sat on, there's only two known to be working in public in Japan, and it's in like a very, it's in public operation. So like people immediately like were able to pinpoint the exact arcade and was like, could you not like break the fucking rare cabinet that many of us actually use? Because I'm told that machine is a temperamental fucker even when it's working like fine. That fire was under tweets, I was not expecting to blow up the way that it did, but there you go. I can never predict it. Meanwhile, that tweet I made about the, uh, the closed network test for Tekken 8 apparently blew up so hard that someone turned it into a filler Eurogamer article, which is very funny. It's just an article that's like, I, I was like at work the other day, killing time, it's like I saw fans, uh, in a tough, I can't remember what the exact phrasing was. Fans in a tough about... Tekken 8's new network test logo. And I looked at the article and I was like, hey, that person has the same avatar as me. Oh, wait, that is me. <laughs> and I was like, hang on, I'm the only tweet in this article. Like, did you mean fans or did you just mean me? It's like, I'm the only one quoted here. That is a single tweet article, bro. <laughs> Yeah, also known as- I have no specific intention of even buying Tekken 8 on launch, by the way. I liked Tekken 7 perfectly fine, but I'm just not, like, hype about Tekken 8 for whatever reason. Don't know why. It doesn't speak to me. I, I like I like the uh, the single tweet articles, where it's just like here's here's a tweet we thought was funny. <laughs> That's definitely one of those. That's a single tweet article. Oh my god, the upper floor is so big! I've just thought about how large the balcony is.
I've decided that Resident Evil 2 would benefit from being a smaller game. Where does this put me? Library, right? Okay. <laughs> it's sighing. It's like, do I have the inventory space for it? Yeah, I've got a spare space. I mean, it must be possible for the remake? No. Aiming doesn't move you forward. Patience I have is admirable. No one on earth you'd ever try this. I'm not sure if admirable is the right word to describe what I'm doing to myself right now. Okay, this is bothering the sh- I'm gonna- hang on. I'm gonna, game- game has to stop real quick, but... Ah! I became bright all of a sudden. Sorry, fucking thing- camera settings are very epic. It, it did the thing where it I could see the, the, the flashing every time I leaned. It was doing auto brightness, basically. It was pissing me off. I hate that. I hate the fact Logitech cameras can't remember the settings properly. I wonder... I'm wondering if it's a good idea to go and use the crank now just to get it out of the inventory. No, that like sucks. Fuck, no. It's gonna take me like 10 minutes just to get there and back. <laughs> no way! I gotta come back anyway once I got the, uh, the golden cog. No, that's if you're making an extra trip for no reason. That would not help. That would not aid me in my goals. I'm stuck on the wall. What am I stuck? I'm stuck on something. Because I'm not moving forward. There we go. Now we're getting somewhere. You know, slowly, but I promise we are getting somewhere. Despite appearance to the contrary, I assure you that we are, in fact, getting somewhere. Why am I walking like that? Walking? I see no walking around here. Where's the walking, huh? Do you see walking? I don't see walking. Just joined, are you missing something? Yes. This rules. 
I'm not sure it does. I'm not sure if this, this might not rule, actually. This might, in fact, not rule at all. Oh no, does this actually suck? This is definitely not something I'm going to be able to finish in one stream. I'm not sure why I thought I'd be able to now that I'd like, no way. We're like two hours and 40 minutes in. <laughs> I'm not even out of the fucking library. Why on earth did I think I'd be able to do this in one sitting? Different weapons move you different distances forwards and backwards. Yes! That is an intelligent question, but to answer it, yes. Handgun moves you forward, knife moves you backwards, shotgun moves you sideways, magnum unknown. Don't have it yet. Firing the magnum knocks you forwards or backwards an actually pretty considerable distance. I can 24 hours if I want, but stay high. I'm not doing 24 hours. I, I don't have the fucking energy or the stamina for, like, m incredibly long streams anymore. Or even the normal one. I think it's either Magnum. I actually don't know. That being said, it might be important to, uh... get the upgraded magnum just for the ammo efficiency. I don't actually know where the upgrade magnum bits are. Weapon cabinet in the lab. Ah, wow, that's late. You gotta pick up the uh, the invisible card for that, right? Yeah, yeah, okay, okay, okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. A backdash of knife is faster? It's not. Can you not take steps in the very start of the game? You kill everything around you and then proceed to do the thing. Bishop plug. One out of four plugs, baby! I'm one quarter of the way done with the first half of the game. Fuck. You know, when I was doing my, uh, my like, four scenarios playthrough, I don't think I ever actually found the spark shot as Claire. Is that, is that also the weapon cabinet? Because I don't think I found it on Claire's playthrough. Can you spell the shotgun parts? Where are those? <laughs> I don't know, actually. You know, I probably, you probably should have picked someone uh, who actually knows more about Resident Evil 2 for this challenge. But alas, you got me. You get me.
dead zombie in the transition between Cable Car and the fight with Birkin. Huh. Oh, I know what you mean. Well, I'm going to have to kill everything in those rooms anyway, because the auto aim's going to have an opinion about it. Wow, that guy died. Death. Oh, why is the auto aim locking on from that far away? <laughs> That's a curious situation, really? <laughs> I can hit from that far? <laughs> That's like on the other side of the room. This room is so big. <laughs> Do -do -do. Crazy how bullets travel a distance. Yeah, but like, it's that might be the largest possible like distance you can still hit something from. Honestly, how did I know? How did I know? He's so good at Resident Evil 2. <laughs> no, don't check. I will not retain any of this information. How far into the game are we currently? Uh, not very. I've gotten one out of four plugs I need to exit the police station, which is like roughly the first half of the game. <laughs> Shortcut! 
unlocked. But that's not where we actually want to go. Do the monkey move me. Come on now. Hey there, baby. Mm, yeah, whatever. Move! <laughs> he said, Lucy, this room is so big, dude. This room is so fucking big. Tomorrow's stream will probably be on YouTube, and it will probably not be this. I think me and Waifu are going to do more Left 4 Dead 2 speedrun learning. Which I'm going to shuffle over onto YouTube. Because I can't really keep track of chat anyway when I'm doing Left 4 Dead. I have to focus too much, so I can never talk to anyone. <laughs> so I'm going to where I get less viewers. And also, since I'm mostly known on YouTube for making a video about Left 4 Dead 2, that's sort of where I want it to... Uh... Makes sense to me. That guy died in like two hits. What an idiot. Yeah, this genuinely might take 24 hours to complete. Oh, boy. You don't have time during the countdown to escape? I don't know. That might be where everything falls apart. I have ideas for how to handle that. Namely in the fact that I know the Magnum, if fired backwards, actually knocks you backwards. So you might need to just expend whatever Magnum ammo you have remaining at that point to propel yourself across the finish line. Because the time is pretty long, and the distance you have to cover is not that large. Like, most of the time you finish with, like, fucking three minutes to spare. But given how long it takes to cross dis- like, I don't know. I do not know. We'll have to see. We will definitely make a save before the final boss and before the final countdown so we could experiment. Because <laughs> I'm willing to bet I will not get it right on the first try. But first we gotta get there. The first roadblock in my mind is that I have no fucking idea what my plan is for Crocodile.
Do I need the small key for anything? I disagree. Look at the blazing speed. Six and roll, six and roll, six and roll. Digi, thanks for the 57 months. Does upgraded gun propel me any differently? I don't know, honestly. She parts are right before the library. In that... Oh, I know where that is. Okay, I know what you mean. Oh, is it worth trying to walk backwards to get it, though? <laughs> <sighs> it's been an hour since the last save! Hey Zoku. Dude, every day we're shuffling. The shuffle will not stop until morale improves. Look, we're here for the long haul. This is what being a streamer is all about. Sometimes you just gotta do something utterly bewildering to an audience of however many- I can't even see- I, I don't have the dashboard open, I don't, I don't know. Right, okay, think about this. What am I actually looking to accomplish? I have to come back through this room anyway. Do I? First, I gotta go outside and get the valve handle, and then I gotta come all the way back, and use it, and then I can get in there and use the two jewels, so we're keeping those in. 1k, I'm actually on the front page right now. I believe you. Absolutely. I'm not going to look at my dashboard to confirm that. I just believe that. Hi, Twitch! Uh... Think of something good. Think of something good to say to hook in the crowd. Uh... I'm gay! Shit. I mean, it is Pride Month. But, like, do I need to... Because you can loop back around and go... No, I really... I want to go there anyway at some point to at least unlock the door, right? I gotta pee! What am I doing? I'm gonna, like... I, I'm, I'm gonna, like, fucking... Like, I can't... Go pee, streamer! Oh no, his time. Streamer is toilet. <laughs> that ruined the run's pace. 
Shit, you're right. I might as well reset, honestly. What was I? What, what was I thinking? Are there enemies in this room? Yes. You saw the title and you had to click. It's working. The clickbait is working. Yes. Can I can I turn around? I can. Excellent. Spearing carpal tunnel. I mean, it's not like a mash. You don't have to mash the button or nothing. You just got to press it. What do I plan on doing about the... I'm just going to have to shoot them. <laughs> I think individually, one by one, I'm going to have to shoot the crows. Slow and steady wins the race. Slow and steady. Absolutely. Slow and steady is the only option here. It's, there's, not, there's not really any other thing. There's nothing else you can do. Invented birds anyway. <laughs> apple, I think. Mm, that makes sense. They would, wouldn't they? Birds. It's a very apple kind of thing to do. Very apple type behavior. <sighs> I hope the auto aim's already kicked in. Around the corner? Just like that? On God? <sighs> Every day I'm shuffling. <laughs> Bird, uh, gun. Well, that was easy. I was, I was expecting that to be a huge pain in the ass, but I actually gotten both pretty clean. But there's more than that, isn't there? Aren't there more birds? There's more than two. Is there really only two? I thought there were many, many more birds than that. how boss fights will turn out. The way boss fights are going to go is I'm going to panically shoot things and hope I have enough healing items to tank the damage. They, they, will, be, they will be forces of, of brute... There'll be shows of brute force more than any sort of, like, tactics, you know? I'll just- I'll need the resources to kind of force my way through. The thing I'm currently most concerned about is the fucking crocodile, because I- like, I mean, you can force your way. Like, it has a health value, but I'd rather try and hit the canister. But, like, how do you do that when you move like this? Am I not far enough around the corner for you? Guess not. Nice FFA rate. It wasn't, but I understand what you mean. Ah, birds!
That last bird is stuck in a corner. Da -da. Oh, bird! Birds are no more. Birds have been eliminated from play. Yeah, I think that's what I was thinking of. I was thinking of those birds. Assume at no point I have to run away from something in this game. Oh. <laughs> yes, but it's complicated. You know, it's not strictly a have to kind of deal. Am I killing one of the smartest animals on the earth? I have yet to meet animal that can outsmart bullet. Uh, Mr. X is not a thing on the A scenarios of the original Resident Evil 2, no, that's a remake thing. Mr. X is only... And honestly, I don't think it would actually matter that much. He doesn't show up that often. I mean, it, okay, it would matter for B scenario because the first time he appears, you've got basically nothing. Like, you, you don't... You don't got a lot of firepower. Like, you can knock him down, but then he gets back up. And back in this hallway? No, this is the first time I've got here. This is a... This is a new room, William. What are you talking about? See, now we're on the roof. Yeah, learn, learn your hallways, man. 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 I want to, I want Beppus, but like, I need a hand to press the button. Oh, oh, life is so hard. Oh, oh, one hand isn't enough grip to open Bepis. Oh. Eh. 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 This is a bad idea. I'm going to spill this shit. <laughs> life is so hard. <laughs> Witness the power of humanity! I say as I turn into a fucking JRPG final boss. It's my second phase. Just opens <laughs> a bottle of benefits. Big like a dragon energy. Oh yeah, they announced the uh, the next one of those, didn't they? Infinite well I, I mean, I was there. I was streaming the fucking Xbox showcase. Looking forward to that. I really liked the. Uh, I really liked Yakuza Seven. Is that not far enough around the corner for your liking, video game? Are you really like gonna make me do fucking fussy ass piece of shit? There we go. Now I'm truly in. You just joined No Way Am I Doing This? Yes, Way, and I have been doing it for the past three hours. You pushed me backwards! <laughs> uh, 
Advance! Oh, damn, this is happening. Oh, yeah, this is happening. Oh, no, this is happening. You ever think about how the meaning of a sentence like that completely changes depending on which word you stress? This is happening. This is happening. This is happening. All completely different. Starting my voice actor arc? No, it's just linguistics! About what percentage am I through the game? Fucking maybe, like, 15% tops. RE2 is not a very long game, but we have at least accomplished a couple of the major objectives. As in, I've got one of the plugs. Good for me. And I think I'm about, if I can... <laughs> I say, we're about to get one of the seconds, yeah, after I get the valve handle, use the valve handle, go all the fucking way back, and get in that room, use the two gems, then I'll have the second plug. <laughs> Yay! Is there... isn't there ammo over here? I'm gonna have to move into the corner to look. Ah! That's it, I'm fucking cancelling the stream. There's nothing over there. It makes me sad. Something very calming about this. You know what? Yeah. I'm currently doing this the beat of like an just this is like a bird going hoo, 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 hoo. Can you do this in other Resident Evil? Is this a franchisable concept? I'm not sure Res- it works in Remake, the first Remake, and Resident Evil 3. I don't think it works in Resident Evil 1 OG, weirdly enough.
Right, aiming and p turning to move because you pivot around a small circle. Now, the problem is, is that you've returned to center when you do that. Nah, I don't think so. I don't think that's it. I don't think that's the way. I got three extra ink ribbons for my troubles, though. Do I? Nah, we don't need to save now. Famous last words. Do I? No, do... no, we got. Well, I'm gonna have to keep them now. I've picked them up. Aim 180. Stop aiming. The problem is that the, the component of this that makes you move is the step when you're done aiming. So if it's pointed in the wrong direction, it just cancels out. Yeah, I don't think anything is going to challenge me between now and getting back to the upstairs safe room. Because the burning zombies disappear, the liquors aren't there on scenario A. So I'm, I just and the, uh, and it doesn't burst through the ceiling either on scenario A. So I think this is just a, a fine old stroll back to the. Because <laughs> everything's dead. I've killed everything. Because you kind of have to in this run type. I've created a safe zone. Dude, you know what? Here's a variant of the idea. Uh, could you do this with Resident Evil Outbreak using only Jim's special action? Or Yoko's special action, actually, where she, like, fucking scuttles backwards? Because Jim, if, for those of you who don't know, Jim's special action in Outbreak is that he throws himself forward. I mean, there's also the shoulder bash, isn't there? That would also work as a as a as a means of movement, as a means of loco. It'd be a much fucking better means of locomotion than this. planning my next 10 hours of suffering. I, I, that is for someone else to do. I didn't even like Outbreak. That's 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 for the 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 outbreak experts because I I am not an outbreak expert. People have tried to get me into outbreak very often, and I just I just haven't been. I just don't I don't I haven't really given much time to file two. I'll give you that much, but file one I found very annoying. Has it been done before, and how long did it take? Okay, so I did actually find. The thing that inspired me to try this is that I did actually find, I found a Famitsu DVD rip from like 2005 that had the complete without taking a step challenge. Their end time was nine hours. I'm deeply suspicious of that now. As far into this as I am, I am now a bit suspicious of that person's end time. I'm not sure I believe that, that I'm not sure I believe what I watch now, honestly. Cause I'd fucking love to know how this guy did this in nine hours. I wish that they were doing exactly this, exactly this. They get nine hours onto a DVD. It wasn't the full run. It was like a highlight reel. That's the thing. Also, something that they did at the end of their run is that like they're they're slowly like inching towards the uh, the the finale. Like after the at the um you know, with the countdown going, and it becomes very obvious they're not going to make it on time, so they just start running. <laughs> like, the video plays it as, like, a joke. And they're just like, eh, good enough. Yeah, 
you know, maybe it is impossible at that point. That's funny that, like, right at the end. But that's not truly the without a step challenge, is it? Am I going to do that? I don't know. I, I'm going to try to see if there's a way to finagle it to do it without taking a step. But it might not be possible, and if so, I will just- I will do the funny and arbitrarily dash right at the end. <laughs> the fact that it's right at the end is like, ah, fuck it, good enough. But I have an idea for how to maximize propulsion. Such that one might not have to run, but we have to get that far first. This camera angle is so awkward. Is this worse than trying to do a low percent on Twilight Princess? What the hell's a Twilight Princess? Just saying words to me. How does movement work if you never take a step? Well, I mean, look. <laughs> does this not explain itself somewhat? Aiming your gun causes you to move slightly forward. And depending on the held weapon, the exact nature of the wiggle is different. Handgun moves you a bit forward, knife moves you a bit backwards, shotgun for some reason moves you sideways. Magnum is unconfirmed because I don't have it yet, and honestly I don't even remember where it is. Needs a gif of Ryan Reynolds saying, but why? Games aren't about why, they're about why not! Because I saw a Famitsu DVD once and thought that seems like a funny idea. Right out of the bottle. I mean, I don't live with anyone else. Ain't no one else using this. It's very upsetting that Twitch did the, uh, the Partner Plus thing and being like, Oh man, if you have 350 tier 1 recurring paid subscriptions, you know, you get more revenue. That's a really frustrating number to have picked for me in particular, because I have, in fact, about that number of subscribers at the moment. But they're not all 
recurring pay, you know, because primes don't fucking count and neither do gift subs. Great. Thanks, Twitch. Love to be a streamer on Twitch.television, the website that functions like an abusive boyfriend. Never, never willing to just let you have something. There always has to be a fucking condition attached. Understand the new gifts apart. I guess they just didn't want streamers like gifting their way, like self gifting past the threshold. But like, who? I don't fucking care. Partners should just have seventy thirty by default. Like, fuck that. I don't got. I, I have no patience for this stupid asshole nonsense. The number of partners that this applies to, someone like did, someone ran the numbers, did the math. It's 2.5% of all partners, and it ain't fucking me. It's like about a thousand partners on the entire platform. Ignisus, shockingly, is actually one of them, the jammy fuck. He actually does benefit from the change. He's in the lucky, like, he's in the exact sweet spot where that matters. Bastard. Where is he? Where is that bastard? You little... I'm mad. Like, happy for you, but I'm mad. <laughs> you understand? I have to eat beans from the can because Twitch won't give me 70-30. The shooter drop. Kick is not a serious contender. I'm gonna, like, I'm gonna put this forward right now. Kick is not serious. I have nothing of Kick so far has convinced me that this is actually like a serious entry into the market. YouTube is a serious, like YouTube is serious. That's real. YouTube doesn't really even really. The thing of it is that YouTube, the YouTube streaming experience is kind of ass, <laughs> but it's a real alternative. But Kick is, Kick is like, I wouldn't even say it's as legit, like, Mixer actually seems like it could have been something, but then Mixer was abruptly not something, but Kick is not, Kick is not serious. I do, currently I do not take Kick serious. Whenever I've been tweeting about it, I've been getting replies, oh, you know, go to Kick, and I'm just like, I, no. Like, Twitch sucks, but no. Take, take it seriously. The realistic scenario here is that your only two options are Twitch and YouTube. So I've been trying both. I've been two-timing. Honestly, I've been... The, the YouTube streaming experience is kind of ass. I really... I really hate how if your stream goes down for any reason on YouTube, it redirects to a new URL. What the fuck is that design decision? Who on earth thought that's so bad? I wouldn't like I couldn't make something like that up if I tried. Genuinely bizarre. Problem due to SF or YouTube. It was due to Street Fighter. Street Fighter 6 just hates OBS for some reason. I don't know why, but I just could not get it to work properly. It would crash the pro- like, the game would be fine, it ran okay, but it would crash OBS, I just- I don't know. Some unidentified computer gremlin is taking place when I try to stream Street Fighter 6, it just wouldn't fucking take, so... I've given up on that, I guess I just play Street Fighter 6 on my own time now. Whatever. Now, YouTube is weird for live stuff, but I don't completely hate YouTube as a platform, at least. Like, people people over there do actually seem to be quite willing to watch. I'm very surprised. Even the Street Fighter 6 stream, which was a fucking mess, still somehow got, like, 60-odd people in there. It's like, that's more than I was expecting, given the fact that I'd, I've streamed on YouTube a grand total of twice, and the second time was an unmitigated mess. I'm gonna be over there tomorrow. I'm going to be doing the left, more Left 4 Dead learning. I'm going to stream that on YouTube.
mix it up, you know? Get, get, get it going on two platforms. Crazy shit. What version of RE2 is this? This is the PC port modified with the rebirth patch. So it's in English. For the benefit of my non-Japanese speaking audience. And also because I just forgot to untick it. But it's fundamentally the Japanese PC port. PC Japanese only port? Yeah. Was the original time for the one guy that did this? Uh, blah, 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 blah. Like nine hours apparently, which I increasingly don't believe. Because I'm pretty sure it's going to take me nine hours to get out of the fucking RPD at this rate. Tass? No, that video was like 2005. That ain't no Tass. Could he been doing the B scenario? He was not. It was definitely A. Like, he. Th 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 there is video footage of this playthrough. It's not complete, is the thing. It's a very short, like. S There's a zombie in this room? There's a very short, like, five minute highlight reel of an entire playthrough. So, we. There are massive chunks of it that have been heavily abbreviated. Because it was meant as, like, a one. That, I think it came on the same DVD as the Shizukana Maria playthrough of Silent Hill 2, where someone beat Silent Hill 2 without taking a step as well. But the way that works for Silent Hill 2 is repeatedly pressing the walk button, so your character just kind of goes... And therefore doesn't technically make a noise. You lied to me! There's a zombie here! Oh shit, he walked through the wall! <laughs> what the fuck?! That guy totally walked through the corner. That guy totally walked through the corner of the wall. Nah, bro cheated. Bro cheated. They despawn enemies for Claire because there's a cutscene screen from the chief's office for her. But it's not the case in Leon's. Um, noted, noted. So, like, that, that zombie could have been a huge problem, you know. Could have been a real big issue. Take it seriously. Take it seriously. <laughs> What's the estimate on this? God, check back in, like, another week or so. This is probably going to be a multi-stream endeavor. I'm probably not going to be able to finish this today. Uh, easy mode is health, damage, and you start the game with a lot of ammo. I wasn't able to get past, like, the first two rooms on normal mode. I tried. It was it was not the thing. So I looked up what the other guy did, and he was also playing on easy. So I thought, okay, that's a good baseline, isn't it? Oh, it's okay. It's be fully doable because of the five minute timer at G4. Ah, but you see, that's where I can bust out my secret weapon, Acolyte. Firing the Magnum knocks you backwards.
So does the rocket launcher, actually. I think they're doing with the aiming. It's just this. It's not that big a deal. You can change fingers, you can do anything, like, it's alright, you know? It's not like, it's not like the harshest mash ever. It's okay. This isn't, this isn't like a, like a hand risk. I thought it might be, I, so like, I actually put my wrist brace on for this, but it's not that big a deal. My hand was kind of rough yesterday, probably because I was playing Dragon Quest on day phone. Phone is not comfortable for gaming, absolutely not. Diamond key, diamond key. What do I do with that? Uh, this is a PS4 controller. Just regular. Turns out that you were right. So this came up the last time I was streaming this port. Turns out that the light bar actually is the health. Apparently the rebirth patch just does that. That's a strangely specific feature to add. So because I'm in the fine condition right now... Uh, green light bulb. Go figure. That's cool. It is pretty cool. See, I was just wondering, because we noticed uh, the last time I was playing this PC port that, like... I was like, why is it red right now? So it was green earlier, wasn't it? Someone's like, is it the health? And I was like, it might be. Because normally, when I have it set so that when it's plugged into my PC, it's usually bright pink. So that way I know, from looking at it, which device it's plugged into. Because it's either plugged into my PS5 when I'm playing theatre rhythm, and then it's blue. Or it's plugged into my PC, so it's resonating with Steam, so it's bright pink. There's a rationale to these decisions. <laughs> I did that on purpose for a reason. Because sometimes I just have it lying on the desk and I'm like, what is it plugged into? Because I use this controller for basically everything. I actually, I, I rather like the DualShock 4. It's kind of my go-to gaming controller. I don't mind the PS5 controller either, but uh, I mainly use my PS5 as a theater rhythm machine, and the DualShock 5's like shoulder buttons, they're just too heavy. They're just they're just too fucking heavy for that game. For like for any other game that's like not a rhythm game, I don't give a shit, but for like a game where I've gotta be going like like that, they're just too heavy. And it's also like a really niche problem to have. What controller is for theater rhythm? This one, the PS4 controller. Absolutely stock normal ass PS4 controller. This room really just has no music, huh? Did she get one then? Because we've been having a child and get S on battle for the big bridge. And the child is too quick. I really think the problem of heavy, like, shoulder buttons is only really an issue if you're playing, like, Supremes. I think you're probably okay on Ultimates. 
You don't need to buy a whole new controller for that. And honestly, it might just be me. I, I can't- I don't think the controller is, like, unviable for Supremes or whatever. Someone fucking triple S to Battle at the Big Bridge Remix with a Switch Joy-Con, which is infinitely less suited. Infinitely less suited to the task. Like, it's been done. I can save my progress. And so I shall, for it has been a little under an hour. It took me an hour to get outside, grab the valve handle, and get the second. But we are now two plugs out of four. What is the RE2 world record for Leon A? It's a, like about 50 minutes, I think. Two plugs out of four, gamers. Okay, now what? Let me, th let me think about this. <laughs> what do I actually want to do? I have the diamond key, which means I can go open the evidence room. But is that actually where I want to go right now? Like, is that the way? I think at the very least, I want to go around the outside just to open that path. Which means I gotta go all the fucking way back. I'm really more so trying to think, what's the closest? But, uh, on the off chance I ever actually need to- I don't think- Will I ever need to use the door I think I'm about to open? I don't know, I've committed to this pathway now. I put myself in danger? I'll be fine. Like, I've got like- <laughs> I've got like 140 bullets. I think I'll be okay. I'm not really worried about the zombie quantity. The patience this must require is unfathomable. I... I am the most patient person ever. Now, I could have spent today learning the Claire B speedrun instead, like I said I was going to do the last time I, uh, I streamed this game, but no, I chose to do this instead. No, that would have been too easy. Just, just use both your fucking hands. Because, yeah, I think I might want to learn one of the B scenario runs at some point. I don't want to learn Leon A, I'll tell you that much. That run, that, like, there's like 600 people who run that game, and I don't feel the need to be number 601th. But I might be the, like, I might very well find it appealing to be, like, the 63rd person who learns Claire B. If I accidentally walk, is it a fresh run? Yeah, if I walk, runs over. GG, I'll reset everything and we'll just start again. And it'll, I'll pretend it never happened. No, 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 no. Actually, if I if I walk by accident, what I'll do is I will I will grab this um that fly the, the a bug zapper I've got over here, and I will I'll hit myself with it. I'm not actually that would actually really hurt. <laughs> when I when I kill bugs with that thing, it like pops, it sparks and shit. And I was like, I think if I hit someone with that, it would really hurt. One of those electric swatters, yeah. 
but its power startles me. Those are fun. They're definitely fun. But at the same time, the fact that every time I kill something with it, it goes Poof! It's like, hmm. It's a bit startling. I was going to try and hit the fucking fly with it that came in through the window, but that bro is pieced out. They're gone. What time is it? How is it 9 p.m. already? Bro, no. Bedtime is 10 p.m. around here. Get down the stairs. There we go. He snapped to that direction. Jigsaws, did they detect movement and slap? No, it's basically a tennis racket that's electrified. You hold down a button and electricity goes through it. If you hit a bug with it, it will, like, electrify and kill what you hit. Consequently, if you hit a person with it, it would probably really hurt. Like, I don't think it's dangerous. It's just, like, the, the power of, like, a fucking a couple AA batteries. <laughs> Bonus. Why do you all not just get window screens? I don't know. Why don't you all get walkable cities? People who live in America shouldn't throw stones. What are you locking onto? Leon's locking onto something. I hear... Br okay, fine. I guess we're going in here. Oh, are we not? No? We okay, we're going in here. Leon has decided we're going in here. to shoot. <laughs> what are you aiming at, Leon? Oh my god, he's aiming at this guy. I don't know how I'm supposed to hit that from this distance. I gotta, like, shut. Aha! Here we go. I'm shuffling. Auto aims from quite a fucking distance. Mm. 
Great. That was a great use of my time. Does anyone remember what the code for the safe actually is? Because I don't remember. <laughs> I never remember. I never remember what it is. 2236, thanks. Because I guess, I guess we're going over here, you know? I expected a lot of random numbers, what a polite chat. I've be okay, so I've beaten this into my chat over the years because I used to run, I used to, it's in the past now, never again. But sometimes I run um, Silent Hill 2 and 3 and those games have a couple of random number codes in them and sometimes I'm like, chat, you, you keep, keep this, keep this in mind for me. And uh, if you, if you post a wrong answer on purpose, I will like ban you. <laughs> Because, like, putting putting the wrong numbers in chat during 2 and Silent Hill 2... Am I not close enough? There we go. You can actually, like, get the run killed. And then you get binned. Is there anything behind the desk? Is it worth trying to do that? Red Herb in some version. Okay, then I'm fucking out of here. I don't need to be back there. Go, Leon, go! When my Silent Hill runs, I was the guy for Silent Hill. I'm the guy. The guy for Silent Hill. I've been the guy for Silent Hill for so long. Now I would like to be the guy for... I don't know. Not Silent Hill. I mean, I do still like Silent Hill. You know, I haven't, like, fully dropped Silent Hill from my lineup or anything. I just haven't been, like, hard-focusing grinding a particular Silent Hill. I did like Silent Hill 3 a lot towards like the start of the year. And there was a bit of shattered memories here and there. Do I still run it bleed? Not actively, but again, I haven't like thrown it in the trash or anything. Like it's still there. Looking down at my Dreamcast. My Dreamcast is in fact still plugged in. Been the Silent Hill guy for all these years. Not a single unhinged conspiracy theory about circumcision. I know, it's a real mi See, I'm not a Silent Hill 4 guy, is the thing. That's the thing with that, is that Silent Hill 4, I think, by length, is like the least broadcast Silent Hill game on this channel. Most recent speedrun I've decided to bin? Uh, it was Dino Crisis 2. I got an okay time in that, and then I was like, I think I'm done with this. Because it's just kind of fucking annoying. <laughs> the run is kind of fucking annoying. Do I have a heart key yet? Is that, is this, this is a heart key door, isn't it? Yeah, okay. See, I don't remember, I gotta check. Leon, away! I don't have which keys open which doors memorized. I just have to look. <laughs> I 
It's okay. It's only, it only takes like, you know, like five hours to check. <laughs> I mean, it's, it's just it's time safe for next run, you know. Don't worry about it. Check out this new exercise regime. Work out your delts with the Leon patented shuffle technique. <laughs> I think I unplugged my controller. Oh no! I've ruined everything! I think I actually just broke the game. Oh no! Oh no! Are we okay? What's going on? It's like stuck in the held position. What the fuck? Leon has a cramp. Uh, did the game just crash? No. No, we're still alive. But what the hell is this? Uh, well, I don't even know what but- Oh, I fired- that's fire, apparently. This is- it is interesting. What the hell is this shit? Why would unplugging the controller do that? Active reload. I think it's fucked. <sighs> Happened to the time, uh, it also fucked up. Where were we at before it crashed? Under four hours? That's okay. That's not a big deal. It wasn't that long. Yeah, okay, note to self. If the controller unplugs for any reason, the game just stops working, so good to know. Actually, now's a great opportunity for me to press all the function keys and figure out which one does speed up. Found it. Brother, if you think I'm fucking gonna do that at normal speed the second time, you're out of your mind. <laughs> it's still quite slow. <laughs> I've just been in this place before! Okay, what button actually is aim on the keyboard, incidentally? No, fuck off. Ah, X. Oh, 
Yeah, I can aim twice for twice the aiming. It doesn't do anything. <laughs> that doesn't actually help in any relevant way. Aim aiming twice doesn't obviously doesn't like accomplish anything. Agree. No, Grizzly Bane, thanks for gifting us up to Horror Punk. Thank you very much. Friend just told me what you're doing, you're an absolute madman, but in the best way. <laughs> well, thanks. Thanks. <laughs> Glad you're enjoying the great ideas. We, we have many good ideas on this stream. Many good ideas. Why do I have two of these? High concept run. Yeah, as in you'd need to be high in order to have this concept. Actually hitting anything. I'm going back, I'm getting the safe. It's happening. Do people just click on the stream without reading the title or something? I tried to reload twice. I'm very clever. Really, like, I'm looking at that ink ribbon like, do I need an ink ribbon? No, but like, I want it. Get in, get in. Especially, I'm gonna be saving a lot, because every time I pass through a room with a typewriter, a save will occur.
Now, before we exit this room, back to one time speed. <laughs> Bruh! <laughs> Hi, sweet Inyaku. I gotta kill them all. Auto aim isn't gonna let me leave unless I kill them all. The, the, the evidence door at the end of the hallway. Yeah, that is a... a, it's, a it's, it's a little... Diamond key door. So I do... Do I gotta go back over there? No, I, yeah, at some point, surely. Is this an emulator? Nah. This is on the PC port. Okay, would you guys be opposed to me just using time to speed for it, for situations where there is absolutely no threat in the fucking room and I just need to walk somewhere? Because, <laughs> like, there is nothing between me and the evidence room. this long to ask. I honestly kind of forgot the function was even there. We are moving now. We are so in. IGT is sped up too? It is, I'm pretty sure. Two max? I think so, yes. <laughs> no, I can't go back. Well, I can go back up there. I was thinking, like, should I get the small key out to get the upgraded handgun? Oh, I've got to go back to the item box for that. <sighs> Look at him go.
Even at two times speed, dude, holy shit, it still takes ages. My plan is we're going to go to the evidence room, we're going to do the thing that happens in there, get the items that you have to. I forget what's even in the fucking evidence room for Leon, honestly. Bong Boonaren, thank you for the tier one. I took a wild stab at the name, I'm sorry. Crippling depression, first time chat. Now I thought I hated myself, I would hate to do this run. Damn, good name and post combo. I can't hate. You know, it's on point. And then, I plan on getting the parts from the upstairs before the library. Uh, but I'm gonna wait until I get to a save point before I apply them, because I'm willing to bet applying the enhanced handgun parts probably changes the trajectory of the shuffle. And watch it, watch it transpire that, like, the advanced handgun doesn't move you forward or something, and the whole thing's fucked. So we're gonna be very- we're gonna get the par, but we're gonna be delicate about it. I'm gonna wait until I get to a fucking save point before I do it. I don't think it changes his stance, so I don't see why it would matter, but I'm not completely sure because I also, you know, who knows? I certainly don't. And I'd be willing to venture that y'all don't either. <laughs> because who the fuck does know that kind of thing? Oh, so I have like 11 spare increments at this point. I'm doing like fine. normal speed before we do the needful. Cause like there's a bunch of dudes in this room, isn't there? Ah! Dudes! The dude economy is booming! No, the dude economy! It crashed just like that. That other zombie behind the cabinet will never find me here. Uh... 
He found me! <laughs> How would I say Resident Evil 2 compares to Deadly Premonition 2? I mean, they're completely different games made, like, five million years apart. Oh, what the fuck? They're too good. Alright, you got me. Fair enough. What? It can't be opened. Not this one? It's one of the other ones along the wall? How much spare inventory space do I have? For I, I will definitely need the fire. Like, the firepower will come in hand. The firepower will be... There we go. Excellent. You will need to kill dangerous foes quickly, because evasion is out of the fucking question. So, bullets will come in handy. Give it to me! There we go. Did I hear something? No, I'm just looking at the window and like, it's late now. I should shut the window. It's dark. When it gets dark, that's when all the bugs get in. not very nice. Does Ron just die when the tyrant shows up? I like people who very visibly haven't played the original posting about the original. Windows closed so all the bugs don't get in and ruin my life.
No! We made quite a mess. Now let's check in the locker anyway. I thought there was ammo there as well. I thought there was something there. Okay, so that's taken care of. Do I have a VOD channel on YouTube? Yeah. Type exclamation mark YT into the chat and you will get my YouTube channels. Both of them. Okay. So now I have diamond key and the heart key. My choices are numerous. I can either try and go get the custom handgun. That's so out of the way at this point. Maybe later. Yeah, I gotta go back that direction for uh, the clock tower anyway at some point. This being said, I do now need to box a bunch of shit. And box I shall. Did I find, finish, play more of that Endless Summer JRPG? We're really digging it and want to see more. Uh, I played more of it on my own time, yes. Uh, it has inspired me to potentially make a YouTube series about really shit JRPGs. <laughs> Blue Paint is special. Blue Paint is a very special video game. It has to include FFA, it really doesn't. You're off track. This is what I mean when I say is like when you when you talk about you're talking about like really 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 bad JRPGs. It's like if you if you if you if you come back with a Final Fantasy game, you're not taking it seriously. You lack imagination. That's too plain. That's too obvious. Some games and click. Well, we talked about this earlier, but there's like Hoshio Midokito for the Famicom, uh, Ancient Roman for the PS1. These are all games you're never going to have heard of. This is precisely why they're like fucked up. Uh, Unlimited Saga for the PS2. Uh, we have loop eight for the now for the everything. Uh, Sonic Chronicles for the DS would also absolutely be a candidate, as for in my perception at least. Cause, oh my god, Sonic Chronicles! What a video game! What was the name of that one uh, vaguely Megami Tensei related? game on the Saturn. Not Soul Hackers. Soul Hackers is like a real video game, but like the one that's just unbelievably slow. 
I can't remember what it's called now. I want to say Muckin X, but that's the Dreamcast one, isn't it? Or is it just Muckin? Is it just Muckin? Is it just Muckin? Might just be Muckin. But no, I'm thinking of something else. There's like there's a, there's a, like a vaguely Mega Ten related Sega Saturn game that's just you, like the combat in that game is so fucking slow. It has to be seen to be believed. Ronde? I think it's Ronde. I think you're right. That game masterpiece. Masterpiece. Here we are at the destination. This is not the hallway I thought this was actually. Where am I? <laughs> he? Nendi? Games that are so bad they are good again, or just truly miserably bad. I mean, I don't... Games that are bad in, like, an interesting way is the format idea. Like, that that's very vague and hard to define, but the point is, is that Final Fantasy doesn't fit the bill. Like, ever. They're just not that... Like, games where the, the, the end product is so unbelievably baffling, where you cannot imagine anything is, like, working the way it was intended, or, like, why anything is the way that it is. In the indie sphere, right, we've, uh, there was, every, every, uh, Yika Postmodern RPG was, like, the, uh, was the whipping boy for that in a while, but that is also a game that is, like, just transcendently bad in its genre. Very strange. But a, a more recent one that I think is equally as baffling, albeit probably less gross, uh, in the field of, like, really bad indie entries in JRPGs is Infinite Guitars, but that managed to escape scrutiny because nobody played it. I played Infinite Guitars, and Infinite Guitars is a f is so fucked. That is a game where sometimes you can't see the prices in stores because the portrait images they use for the shopkeepers are too big, and they will block the menu. That is the tier that that game is operating on. It never matters because every item costs nothing, and every single fight you take will award you like 6,000 money anyway. It never matters. I didn't need to look at prices anyway. I feel a bit bad, but like, it's, it's a relatively small indie production, like, it's a sincere effort, so I feel bad as we, it, like, make a whole video, it's like, oh man, this is one of the worst RPGs ever, but also, it's definitely one of the worst RPGs I've ever played, it's so, it's just, absolute mess. Profound, profound mess. Like, on, on no level do I understand what the goal was. It's got some nice music from people you might have heard of as well, like Too Mellow contributed a couple of songs to it, and his songs are good. The music's good, like, it's it's well-produced, high-rent stuff as well. That's, like, the only thing keeping the game above, like, surface level, is the fact it's actually got quite good music, but it's not got enough of it, and it uses it really badly. You'll, like, you'll, you'll cross, like, three screens, and it'll, it'll crash between three songs at total random. You're like, what the fuck? And be commercially released games? It can be anything, really. Anything that's, like, out there and public and interesting. But these are- these, this is, like, stuff that I would make a video about, so I would have to know the subject matter. But I- I have played a number of, like, truly bewilderingly put together JRPGs, and it's a- it's a topic I find fascinating. Anyway, I guess I'm down here now. Japanese bug game, uh, Escape from Bug Island, or Necronesia as it's called in Japanese. Yep, that game's trash. I never finished it, because it was trash. Shocking.
The suspense sure is building in this run right now. <laughs> when will I eventually get to shoot these enemies? It did. It all began with Hoshio Miruhito. That's definitely it. I haven't actually played through that game, though, is the thing. I would need to actually sit down and try and play it through. Advance. Gun! Gun! No, what? I'm honestly surprised I didn't get hit. Like, it, it looked like one of them whiffed because of, like, me putting the gun away, like, caused me to step backwards. <laughs> There's nothing in this room, is there? Activate double speed! Yeah, RE2, the original, has IGT. This? This is the wrong way. <laughs> but there's a red herb. I don't need a red herb. Get me out of this shitty room. Feeling like I should make another cup of tea. I think my goal for this stream is I would like to at least get the fuck out of the RPD. That seems like a reasonable first goal for this. If nothing else is done, like, if- because we're not finishing the whole game this stream, I don't think that's happening. But I would like to get out of the RPD. Because that's about half of the game, maybe a little bit over half of the game. While, while the RE2 expert, experts are in force, how do I get the, um, the side pack? I need the key card and the power to be restored. How do you get the key card? I did it on a... Um, uh, because obviously I have no intention to follow. I can just take everything. I have no intention of doing the fucking... Ooh, hang on. I can do... um. I wonder if the submachine gun has any differences in the movement. Because if I'm going to take this... I'm just take both. Might as well. I'm going to be single segment. It'll probably be a two-stream dealio. I don't know when I'll get around to doing the second stream. I'm, like, gonzo for most of next week. Uh, up. Up. Down. Down. 
Choo, choo, choo. the speed one because i when i was doing my uh my dumb crisis runs i found that uh cutscenes had a habit of desyncing weirdly if you had the game speed set too high so i'm not i'm not not at this not in the middle of this am i risking like a cutscene crashing the game there is a distinct possibility i d i don't imagine anyone's actually tested that all the way Come on, <laughs> get to the gunshot. Go, Leon, I want to put the kettle on. Leon, mate, hurry up. I want to stick the fucking kettle on, mate. Ooh, <laughs> Leon, mate. Got a jet, but good luck with the run. Cheers. Thanks for dropping in. There he goes. Who are you? Ada Wong. And what are you doing here? I'm looking for some guy named Ben. I burnt the fucking team, mate! I got too excited. Oh, I biffed it. I heard he was locked up in the cell. I disagree. I arrived and am immediately fascinated by this concept. Dear man, thanks for the 20 months. It's a great concept. Oh, it's gonna make me move. Give me a hand, I'll give you a hand in a moment. <laughs> he just stared. What the fuck is he doing? Just, just get over here, Leon.
kettle's just about done and all. Oh my god. I have tea. <sighs> Ambrosia of the gods. Mm, beverage. I disagree. Six in success, six in leave, six in lurk. Koyos, thanks for the 61 months of Prime Gaming. And she's off. Ada, wait. Ada waits for no one. I... <laughs> I wouldn't wait for me either in this, in, in this situation. Like, if someone who moves like this told you to wait, would you do it? I wouldn't. Cat, thanks for the 45 months. Peak. I disagree. Six and roll. Kite music, thanks for the 50 months. Guys, which door takes me to Ben? <laughs> Is this the next new speed category? Yes, you're witnessing the evolution of Resident Evil speedrunning right now. This is what it's all about. I disagree. Define speed. No! I'm not here to educate you. Figure it out! Thanks for the 10 months, Robust Laser. Why is it, it's so hard to just move in a straight line? What is with these rooms? So it's cursed.
Can I raise the frame rate? Yeah. I had the, the game fucking not quite crashed, but it got stuck in a state where I wouldn't I wasn't able to unaim, so I couldn't move. Turns out if your controller unplugs uh, mid aim, that happens. I just like got pushed backwards by the wall. By the way, what? Shiny. Oh, I've been interrupted by a cutscene. Let me guess. You must be Ben. You right? must be Ben. Get up now. Ben's always be I'm sleeping. Sleep here. Is this the guy? Ben, you told the city officials that you knew <sighs> something about what's been going on, didn't you? What did you tell them? And who the heck are you? I'm trying to find my boyfriend. His name's John. He was working for a branch office of Umbrella, based in Chicago, but he suddenly disappeared six months ago. I heard a rumor that he's here in the city. I don't know anything. And even if I did, why would I want to tell you? Okay, I say we leave him in there. Does anyone know where they put the key to this cell? I have it right here, officer. But I'm not about to leave this cell. Those zombies aren't the only things crawling around out there. What was that? Like I said, I'm not leaving this cell. Get out of here before you lead it right to me. Hey, I'm not going anywhere. I'm the only cop left alive in this building. What? Look, if you want to live, then you're going to have to leave with me. But, do you even know how to get out of the city? There's a kennel in the back of the building. Inside the kennel is a manhole. Schlop, schlop, schlop. I'm just drinking tea! You guys are being fucking weird. It won't be easy. Alright, I'm going. <sighs> Happy? Didn't think so. Stop beeping! I'm trying to do my flashcards. <laughs> Stop that! Is that not... Well, I'm not even close to close enough. What's my time estimate in my professional opinion? Uh, got at this rate, probably like 12 hours. And I'm not gonna do that in one sitting. Aim weapon is faster than the punch. The punch? The punch. Explain. <laughs> Thank you. 
Who doesn't have a punch? I can't think of a single Resident Evil game that does. Six, I guess? Does six have a punch? I like the sound of that. Five does for boulders at least. It's not like a combat action you can take at any time though. It's a context thing. It's like a quick time event. These dogs don't actually like get out unless I try to pursue them, I think. I'm just going to not do that. Mate, I ain't walking over there. There's nothing over there. There's just like a herb or whatever. Fuck that noise. I go down the ladder? Will I? the auto aim doing it's focused on the spider poison can't kill right no It's pink. Can everything be completed stepless? No. Uh, it's not possible in RE1. Aiming just doesn't move you in RE1, so it doesn't work in that game. First aid spray is cure poison. Can we do modern remix rolling only? No, because the roll is only in three. Do you play these games?
Should have brought the shotgun. I forgot about the spiders. Being poisoned at this juncture is problem, for I am dying. Poison in general is a really boring status element that I hate. But the thing I dislike about it the most is mainly that you can't see your current health while it's happening. But I'm pretty sure I'm dying. Unfortunately, there's not that many places you can actually get poisoned in this game. Step gated or time gated? It's time. It's definitely time. I think I'm on, like, danger at this point. Blessed. Yep. Plugs. That came out with a pop. Ooh, hang about. Drilling. Is this the content YouTube has been waiting for? Wait, waiting for? Waking for? Well, potentially. It could be. It could be the content that many have been waiting for. I don't know. I don't know what YouTube wants. They just, they say things and they scare me. It had been like an hour and a half since my last save. That's fucked up. Plug in our plugs and then become Ada. And to that end, I will become two times speed for a bit. Because <laughs> there's nothing in these rooms, right? Because you go in there, you come back out, and then there's Ada. But while you're in that room, you might as well plug in the plugs you've got. Which is going to be two. I don't think it can be more than two at this point. Go speed 8, there is no speed 8. It's speed 2. That's all you get. Imagine if Leon made a noise when he raised his gun. Yeah, imagine. I don't have to imagine. RE4 remake is like that. Like, did anyone else notice that? How, like, every time you aim the gun in RE4 remake, Leon goes, huh. Because I fucking did. You don't need to use that right now. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't realize we were so far. See. Yep, Claire is impossible due to Sherry. That's that's specifically why I picked Leon. Did you get the enhanced pistol? No, I keep putting it off because I don't want to walk all the way over there. <laughs> I've put. We'll get it when we get to uh, the clock. When we have to do the clock tower, that's the most convenient time to do it.
Like, I gotta go back around there at some point anyway, but until I'm- f I'm not making that trike, because it's gonna- <laughs> it takes like 20 minutes to get up there and back, man. This trike might actually be a problem in this challenge. Well, no, he won't be. Because... Look, I'm gonna- can I make a polite request of chat? If you haven't actually played the original... I don't think I've introduced myself yet. My name's Careful Leon. with that in case I'm it desyncs. It's a dead end. You think we can get upstairs through this shaft? Give me a boost. I'll go and check. Yeah, Mr. X or the Tyrant doesn't show up on the first scenario in the original. That is a plate that is a scenario B only thing in the original. He's not around. And also, he doesn't even show up that much. It's time to be Ada. It still works! You know, a little goo if I got all this way only to find Ada doesn't move while aiming. I would have immediately dropped my fucking trousers and taken a shit straight onto the carpet. No, it's okay. We got it, we got it. Ada moves, the day is saved. <laughs> Rage shitting. No. Well, I think I got him. <laughs> That's that. Foster Ada. Yeah, I feel like Ada might actually be slower than Leon somehow. I don't know if that's true. But she feels slower. <laughs> oh no, this room is so big! <laughs> oh no! Bro, she's slow. She's definitely slower. She's gotta be slower. Like, this is ridiculous. <laughs> Sherry entrance room should have shotgun odds. Do I really want to take- <laughs> It's like, do I want to go that far, though? I don't know about that. I'm mainly thinking about magnum rounds because I'm I'm semi reliant on magnum rounds as a form of movement past a certain point. It's 
Super shotgun also propels me back. Okay, if that's true, I should I should stock up. Because that might be the only way I can beat the timer at the end of the game. Fuck. Why are you gonna tell me? <laughs> what, 20 magnum rounds in the game? Uh, it's more than that, I think. Does she have a shotgun? No. She only has a handgun. I don't know if it's worth it. Well, I guess we'll find out. We'll find out together on this, the hell stream. Is that close enough? That's close enough. She's definitely slow. <laughs> this sucks so bad. Aiden, no. So I'm gonna fucking suck? Absolutely. I'm gonna get poisoned all the time. Oh, the, there's also the sewers, right? Ada's bit in the sewers is gonna fucking suck because I'm gonna have to deal with the tunnel of the moth dudes or whatever the fuck. That's gonna be a huge mess. That odd ferret, thank you for the four months. Oh god, yeah, no, right? That's gonna be a problem. But I don't know if we're even gonna get to it this stream. I mean, you can kill the bugs, right? You can, you can like, shoot them. With your gun. What? Go. This game sucks. gonna be that fussy about it. Fucking hell. All in due time, folks. You're guessing this is a speed trick. No, it's like the opposite of a speed trick. <laughs> I fired gun! No! My bullets! Yay!
Is the game track number of steps taken at all? Nope. Nope. <laughs> Be funny if something like this worked with Silent Hill, which actually does keep track of like distance traveled. She's definitely slower. Like, I, 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 like, come on. Estimated time? Like, probably 12 hours or something. Maybe 14. Uh, I will not do this in one sitting. My goal for this stream is get to the end of RPD. Like, beat, uh, the embryo boss, I think. And part two will have to come another time. Probably next week. Because I'm busy for much of the, the week to come. And tomorrow I'm doing some Left 4 Dead 2 learning with Waifu. Although I will probably not be doing Left 4 Dead 2 learning with Waifu for like as long as I've done this, because that game melts my brain. But that stream, tomorrow's stream, I'm planning for that to be on the YouTube, rather than on the Twitch. So subscribe to my YouTube so you don't miss it. I'm really bad at promoting myself. It feels really phony. That's why I have to put on a funny voice when I do it. But sometimes I will be streaming on Twitch, like I'm streaming this on Twitch. And sometimes I will stream on YouTube. The stuff I stream on YouTube is probably going to be more in line with, like, the kinds of things I post on YouTube. Which is to say, the speedruns are probably still going to be on Twitch, and other bullshit's probably going to end up on YouTube from time to time. Although, that being said, it's a speedrun thing I'm practicing, but it's Left 4 Dead! And I made a very popular YouTube video about Left 4 Dead, so it counts. That's my logic. My logic is unassailable. Shotgun shells. Eh. <laughs> there we go. Got him. GG's. Get me out of here. Don't fire the gun! I need those bullets to defeat bugs later, probably.
How long has the Ada segment by itself taken? Holy shit. She's so slow. I can't believe this. If we found a way to make it even slower. I'm saving the game after this. I'm not doing this twice. This is ridiculous. Don't forget to unspeed before entering. Oh yeah, because of the cutscene, right? Don't want to risk it desyncing or whatever. I'm not sure if that's, like, I don't know if that will happen, but I've seen it happen with Dino Crisis, and it's like, it's, it's a problem best not even to tempt fate on. Oh god, what the hell is this? Why? You tell me. That's your time speed? Right now, yes. I think if I did this at one time speed, this Ada segment would have taken me literally a full hour. Which is honestly completely nuts. Whose fucking idea was this? Huh. She is so- yeah, this is double speed. Ada is so slow. She is so much slower than Leon. Maybe Claire is faster. Maybe I should just start again and try Claire, yeah? Unspeed. Leon! Can you hear me? Ada, did you find anything? Right here. Uh... Just... <laughs> it's eternal throw. I think the fucking game crashed. Hmm. Well, who's down for round two of the Ada shit guy? Nah, I fucking pranked him. It was just alt tab. <laughs> Look, I can't reach the ventilation hole. I'm going to have to find another way around. I'll catch up with you later. <laughs> Wait! <laughs> uh, that was good. <laughs> Feeling good about that one. <laughs> If that somehow caused the game to crack, dude, if it did, I w again, I would have just, I, I don't know, that would have needed, like, a mega rage shit. Karma has the chance to do the funniest thing right now. No, 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 let me save first, let me save! <laughs> save! Go, <laughs> 
Go, go! Go, Leon, go! rest of the shotgun ammo. I have two shotguns. <laughs> Can I like get these bullets out? I don't think so. But yeah, no, I'm not doing that twice. So uh, let's save the game again. A, a save before and after Ada. Like, how long did that take in real time? took nearly half an hour just to complete the Ada segment. She is so slow. That is unbelievable. Back at it. That segment is like... Like two minutes. When you're doing it normally. It took... <laughs> Nearly half an hour. Is this a submission video for really, really long a thon? No. There's a double speed option. It's a thing the rebirth patch lets you do. At least I got rid of all the spiders. That's the mod. Makes the PC port, like, work nicer on modern systems. You can turn off the, uh, like, PS1 style, like, Z fighting that occurs as well, so that's nice for the models. I need to actually get like the version of that that works with RE3 and RE1 going as well, just so I have them all nice and there and stuff. Then I can even uh, challenge my sanity and do a, a randomizer, because I've not done one of the randomizers. I'm not much of a randomizer guy, notably, but I'd be willing to at least try, I'd be willing to at least try like a classic RE randomizer. I'd give it a go. Go. I have to sneeze. <laughs> Leon sneeze, Kennedy. Fuck.
<laughs> Sometimes you'll tap into the stream and watch it for minutes at a time. Like, why? Why would I do that? I don't know, but clearly the people love it. That made a fucking... That made a click noise that was probably very audible. I felt that one. That was my, like, <laughs> that was the entire side of my body. That wasn't, like, my hand or anything. The streamer is becoming old and decrepit. Decrepit. Decrepit is not a word. <laughs> what am I fucking doing? Right, club key. Yes, okay. No, think. There's, I should have gotten the shotgun out, because there's liquors in here now. At least I saved the game before I got back here. Because I'm going to have to kill everything with a pistol, and that's probably not very good. I am on easy mode, so it might not be that bad, but... Uh... Should have got the shotgun out. The liquors are going to be trouble. Oh, but I can get the submachine gun while I'm down here. Did we save not too long ago? I did, yes, fortunately. I saved after completing the Ada segment, because I'm not doing that twice. Can Lickers hear you? Yes. But since I'm not making any noise, no. This doesn't count as taking a step, so they completely cannot hear me. Actually, depending on where that liquor is, I might not even be aggroed onto it. Like, it's on the other end of the hallway, isn't it? I mean, I'll have to kill it at some point to get out of this room, I'm pretty sure. Isn't it? Is it one or two? I think it's just the one. It's so epic. This really builds up the tension, you know? Auto-Aim has decided we don't have a problem yet, and if Auto-Aim says so, we don't have a problem. Watching Fuga on YouTube in the other tab? Wow. The Fuga vaults. I th honestly think- I think it just took me so long to cross the rooms that they've moved out of the way. <laughs> I think it just took me so long to get out of the room that they moved halfway across. I'm gonna have to kill everything in this room.
but it'll be worth it. I'll get the submachine gun for my troubles. And the side pack. And so on and so forth. Will it be worth it? Will it? Think of the value. Think of it. The value. The red card. Oh, bloody hell. Mm. Blue Minnick. Mm. What an idiot. So your ass is filling up my entire screen. Damn, that took me to caution. Disappointing. Cautionary gaming is now occurring. That bodes poorly for that fucking liquor. effect on my movement speed? Well, no, because it only affects the speed if you actually, like, you know, walk or run. Yo, Emma, thanks for the raid. Hi, welcome in. We're doing the worst challenge run that anyone has ever thought of for this game. I defy someone to come up with a stupider idea than this. Cannot be done. Look, it's been got by one second for Origins. Sweet. At least now, like, at least someone who actually knows what the fucking item route is <laughs> has it now. All right, where's the liquor's default spawn? Auto aim is definitely locking onto something. Oh, I can exploit that to move faster. No, it's gone again. They walk away. They walk down the hallway. Yeah, like, they're off over there. <laughs> they're down. I gotta get past them at some point, but by that point, I can go get the, uh, the submachine gun. We can use that to solve our problem. Yes! No! Auto aim, why?! <laughs> No, I wait. I I I waited for the liquor to walk away so auto aim would stop. Oh fuck! No, it's walking back. Oh shit! What do I do? No, it's gone again. It's gone again. It's okay. Get out of there! <laughs> what a tricky chestnut! I don't want to fight it with just a pistol. That does not seem like a very good idea. I did actually...
actually get the key card, right? Yeah, okay, good. I do not. I do. Here it is. It's the right key card. We're fine. We're chilling. The knife. Oh yeah, I don't have the knife. I don't have the knife. I can't like. I got rid of that. I I pitched that a while ago. Do I have to specifically use the key card reader, or is it just going to let me use the door? I was reading the uh, the cutting room floor pages for this game. They're very detailed, and apparently the old version of this room, like the idea they had for this room before what it became in the final version, was that there would be like a one-use key, so you could only take either the side pack or the submachine gun per scenario. Like they, that's why there's two lockers. Like they didn't actually change the room, but they ended up changing the design. Such that the item was just, it would just be left for whoever was, you you know, the items would still be there in the second scenario. If you left them there. But the reason there's two lockers is because it was originally supposed to be that you could only, you had to pick one to open. Because your key would break or something. Something like that, I don't know. I, I don't recall the rationale for why they ditched the idea. There's a machine gun and a, with a side pack I can carry, I will equip my side pack. Give it to me. I should probably say- it does warn you, I should probably save it for Claire. Well, I have no fucking intentions of doing that. Does this- this does actually move me forward. I am not sure it does so very quickly, though. Yeah, that's definitely worse than pistol. But at least we have a weapon. What about when I do the Claire run? I am not doing the Claire run. <laughs> I'm not doing two I'm not doing this twice. I will be perfectly content with a single a single clear. Yeah, also Sherry doesn't have a gun. She can't aim, so I think the Claire, like, under the conditions... Alright, time to do battle. It's first run or I have a plan. It's, it's the first time I think anyone has attempted something this stupid in a long time. Suppose you could do scenario B, Leon? Perhaps, yes. I imagine that might be- well, no, I struggle to see how you'd make the timer. Given that it's dubious whether or not it's even possible to do that in scenario A. Scenario B is, like, tighter. 
about that. It's supposed to be hard to get away from. You can just kill him. Like, you could just shoot the guy. Like, it'd be a bit of an ask, but I don't see it. I don't imagine it's impossible. Either way, that is a later problem for later people to figure out. Namely, like, not me. Are we still deathless? We're still deathless, although the game fucking locked up at one point, which was funny. So I've had to load a save once. Although we're, we're about to challenge uh, the first, a dangerous entity. Do I have lock on? I do. If I have lock on, I can exploit that to move faster. Or so I thought, apparently not. Battle with a dangerous foe is approaching. Why does the lock on keep like not locking on? Where is this enemy? <laughs> Where are you, dude? I think I'm moving backwards when I do that. That's not helping. <laughs> this feels like it should have Helvetica standard playing over it. What the fuck am I doing? strategy. is vanquished. Peace returns to my life. Leon is still slow as shit. Oh, and all the enemies are going to start, like, respawning. Because we're in, like, the second bit of the RPD now. What door is that? Oh, it's a club key door. We should open it. Okay, there's nothing in these rooms. Can I, like, just have my two times speed? <laughs> it's like, there's no enemies. Hurry up. I haven't played Earthbound through... I used to replay Earthbound yearly. But I haven't done so in a while.
One change the remake has that I actually genuinely really like and wish was in the original is the fact that there is no f there's like there's an item box here in the remake and there just isn't in the original. It's like why? It makes so much sense for there to be an item box here. <laughs> it's very logical. They're both on opposite sides of the building. Of course, you lose the one in the downstairs. Nothing in this locker. But is there anything in the other locker? Hello, oh my god, why do I do this? Well, you see, here at Punchy Incorporated, we make really bad fucking life choices. I don't know, there, there was a string of complicated thought processes that led me to this point in my life. It's, it's, it's an Aries thing. You wouldn't understand. Am I moving? There's the Magnum. Yeah, your Gemini brain just can't understand it. Just not equipped for the, cha the, the challenges ahead. <laughs> I have pronounced it that way for years to piss off relatives. And now it's just sort of, the, it's just the way I say it by default now, so it always gets, <laughs> I've, I've done that at work. It's like, oh, again, then, yeah. <laughs> just like, get me, I'm like, do I try to explain this or not? No, the one, I did it at work and I just didn't even try to explain it. I was like, yeah, get me, I just walked away. <laughs> just exited the conversation. <laughs> so they think I'm fucking stupid. But that's okay. <laughs> not untrue, just not in the way that they think. I am going the right- no, not file. You muppet, the map. I was gonna say, like, I'm heading in the right direction, right? Like, what am I doing with myself? Okay, how's my inventory looking? It's full of beans. Did the Magnum move faster than the pistol? I didn't actually, but that's a great idea. It seems pretty much the same. I don't actually think there's any difference in animation there. I think it's identical. Well, that's nice at least. Something normal in this universe. Boy, am I glad I left that. Skip the cord. Yeah, I don't need the cord because I'm not. I'm not going back there ever through that room. Because we're about to get the cog from that room, and we'll get the plug from the other room, and then, and then I'm, and then I just got to go up to the clock tower, finish my business over there, and then I'm good. Like, we're done at that point. With the RPD, at least. 
I'm getting the fuck out of here. It's happening. Sounds so easy when I put it like that. Well, everything is pretty much dead, aside from the stuff in the side room. There's, like, some zombies over there. I'm going to shoot them with my gun. Uh, there's a liquor that spawns in one of the rooms. I'm going to shoot that guy with my gun, but, like, the bigger one. It'll be fine. I, ha I have a plan. And then, when we're making the trek up to the clock tower... Uh, I'm gonna go probably box some crap. And then go grab the enhanced handgun while I'm there. Yeah, that's my game plan. inspired such an unhinged, bold, unhinged game challenge. Well, I saw someone do it on a Famitsu DVD in a video that was uploaded like 13 years ago and it never left my brain. There's another green herb over there. Should I use it? I'm not coming back here, so I think I should use it. Am I good, like, in a moral sense, or, like, in sort of a, are you well, you know, like, like a... Is the question about my ethical well, you know, like, my my ethical fiber, or is it about, like, if I've recently suffered any, like, severe blows to the head? You instead like to ask the same question, but instead about my ethical fiber. Well, I don't really know where the fiber like comes from in my diet. I just kind it's just it's just kind of like fruit and veg. Like I imagine, you know, it's all just fruit and veg and stuff. I imagine it comes from like wholesome farms. From beans. Moral porridge. I actually do eat porridge pretty frequently. I'm like the weirdo who actually just likes oatmeal. Like aesthetically it's like a really grim meal. It's just like it's kind of like vaguely like brown grayish sludge and it's like I don't know though. It's kind of nice. British cuisine. <laughs> the Chinese social media was right about white people food. They kind of were. Like, guilty as charged, I am, uh... I can't believe there's zombies in this game. Alternating between speeds for fights? Yeah, because... I'm alternating between speeds because I don't want to get suddenly, like, blindsided and killed by something... Like, I don't know, if a zombie, like, spawns on top of me, I guess? I'm probably being, like, very overly careful about that, but I'm also turning the speed down to one for cutscenes because... Uh, playing the cutscenes out at the wrong speed, I have known that to fuck the game up. If you're, like... When I did Dino Crisis at, like, arbitrary speeds... Oh, hang on. If there's an enemy here, I can use auto-target to move faster. Ah, I killed them all. His head is having a moment when he- Oh my god, you're right! His head does, like- What is that? Oh no, why did you point that out? That's gross. 
Oh no, ban that person. Why would you point that out? <laughs> I can't unsee it. Oh, you've ruined this for me now. I'm gonna fucking you know that's so like that's the, that's a, that's a rude kind of like you now that you've pointed it out I can't not look at it I had not noticed the entire time I was doing this playthrough and now you've gone and pointed that I'm gonna like I'm gonna hex you right back in turn you're breathing manually now fuck y'all that's bullshit that is horrible you rude individual. <laughs> hex you back. A curse onto you. <laughs> Why is it? It's like getting larger. Oh, it stopped. It stopped. No, it's back again. What the fuck? This is okay. That's even stranger that it's like inconsistent. What? Things like zombies and I, but what item would it have been latching onto there? Because like, all the zombies were dead, which makes them no longer interesting. Like, a zombie's pretty interesting, but a dead zombie is like, eh, that's not interesting. Okay, we're ignoring the cord because we're not going back through that room, and I don't give a fuck if that zombie is hallway in if, th if that zombie is hallway infested. <laughs> if that hallway is zombie infested. <laughs> Zombie infested with hallways. There's just so many hallways. <laughs> when you think about it, we really are full of hallways. A series of little tubes. Uh, well, it doesn't. It doesn't start like in. <laughs> when does this actually happen? <laughs> We're inching slowly towards the jump scare. Uh, uh. Ah! Ah! Sorry. Can I afford to grab the first aid spray? <laughs> the club key is going to get used. I don't think there's anything else in the other room I give a shit about. Oh, yeah, he is looking at the dead liquor. Okay, yeah, I'm going to take it. I'm taking the first aid spray. If it turns out I don't need it, I can just, like, use it. For some reason, I still have, like, the, a really strong inclination to not use first aid sprays if I can get away with it. Because I'm just thinking, don't use the first aid spray, it'll decrease my end ranking. Bro, what fucking end ranking? Look at your playtime! This is getting, like... Minus 15 ranking like it's not even it won't even be a letter anymore. It'll be a number. It'll just be it'll just be negative 30 That will be my end ranking Okay, I don't think there's anything in this room so I can finally activate speed
you should, you should get a secret grade if you accomplish something like this. Secret ranking. Hmm, the red herb. So easily forgotten. Is there anything in this room that I particularly care about? Is there, like, ammo in here? Like, shotgun ammo or something? Do I even have room for that? Isn't that a small key? I don't think I, I don't think there's anything in this room I actually need. That's a small key, and I have no interest in small keys. I only care about big keys. Abolish it. Replace it with massive keys. Is there a liquor in this room? I think that might be a B scenario thing. I think that's a B scenario thing. What's the so <laughs> I might have to actually go and look at the solution to the puzzle. I can never remember. Middle, right, left, thanks. <laughs> I didn't just want to come on. I was going to look at- I was going to look at the solution, because I never remember off the top of my head. It's always the same. I know it's always the same, but I never remember it. It's the same as the safe code. You, it's the one thing you do on every playthrough of this game, and it's the one thing that just doesn't stay in my brain. Man, Capcom should make another pre-back, uh, pre-rendered background game, just just to fuck with everyone, you know. Quick before the fire goes out, can it go out? It can't go out. You're just messing. Chat is messing with me again. They're telling, they're saying words to me, the streamer, talking to me. Turned automatically. Strange. Oh yeah, pre-rendered backgrounds are very limiting, and there's no real reason to do it nowadays. Like, I'm a fan of the aesthetic, but purely for nostalgia reasons, I'll be blunt. But I think it's also, like... It might be a fun style to try and imitate. Like there are there are indie games that try to imitate the style, like Elisa, and I think it they they look pretty cool. But in terms of like the tech, there's no real reason for a company of like Capcom scale to attempt to do free render back. There's just no reason to, you know. Like, like, the point of the pre-rendered background was to get more detailed environments than normal... Dude, are you seriously... Come on, you're close enough for that. Stop being fussy. It's to get more detailed environments than uh, the hardware would otherwise be capable of outputting. But nowadays, you know, you can just make the environments really fucking detailed. So you don't need to pre-render them. But then again, the, the the quest for uh the highest level of detail is currently like strangling the AAA games industry to death. So perhaps there is something to be said for a more restrictive approach. Oh, 
on that note, Final Fantasy 16 releases in, what, like, now? <laughs> when does that game come out? Wonder how that one's gonna land. I haven't gotten around to trying the demo yet. And I'll be honest with you, I probably won't. I feel like the game's going to come out before I will have any opportunity to play the demo. Tell me a second, I'm out of town when that is occurring. Well, like, out of town. When I'm, I'm not going to be streaming. Yeah, I, I probably should play the demo to determine whether or not I want to, like, plop down money for it. Because, honestly, nothing I've seen of 16 has either particularly impressed me or given me the, the sense that I even really understand how it feels, you know? So getting a hands-on look would be very much the thing for that. Maybe it could impress. I don't know. I don't know if I'm going to get around to it, though. It's in the zone of, like, interested in seeing how this turns out because I just, I like my Final Fantasies. But, like, I'm not all in. In due time, we are over six hours into this, and I am not out of the RPD yet. Hobby. Oh, okay, now... We move to the item box to dump all of this bullshit. Whether or not I play Final Fantasy XVI, the full version is contingent on two things. One, either the demo really, really grabs me if I get around to playing the demo, or Square Enix gives me a code, which is not unlikely because for some reason I seem to be able to get everything Square Enix makes these days. Shoutouts to Square Enix's uh, influencer outreach program for, by and large, fueling most of the material I use to study Japanese these days. It wasn't everything except theatre rhythm. It was everything except theatre rhythm, and that's mostly because I didn't really make much of an effort to ask properly. <laughs> I'd already bought the fucking thing before they, like, they started offering it. Because I was like really all in on theatre rhythm from like minute zero. I probably could have gotten it. Could have saved me the amount of money, because I bought, like, the super hyper, like, dumbass edition as well that had all the stuff. And it was worth it. The game's great. I think Final Bar Line's really fucking good. But I'm just like, damn, that was a lot of money. <laughs> not saying it's not worth it, but also, I could have just not spent that money. I could have used the influencer. <laughs> could have used the influencer style to just not spend, like, fucking $100. You know that 16 was built from the ground up around English rather than Japanese? That's becoming more common these days, which is something to contemplate for sure. Like, Resident Evil games are now also like that. Resident Evil games are written in English first. Uh, since about Revelations 2, I want to say. Possibly even Resident Evil, maybe 5 or 6 or whatever? 
But before that point, one of the one of the reasons for the, the incredibly strange voice acting present in Resident Evil games is that uh, they were written in Japanese first, translated to English kind of dodgily, and then dubbed based on that. be finished before I have to go to work next time? No. no. 49 stonking shotgun shells. Remarkable gameplay. Crank. Uh, small key. Ditch this. Yes, that's gaming. That to me is gaming. to hear a version of what they originally intended. You actually can, because I believe one version of uh, Resident Evil 1, you know, Biohazard in Japan, actually shipped with a bonus disc that contained some of the Japanese voice acting that they were trialing out before they ditched it. So you can actually, in fact, hear what some of the Japanese lines would have been like. I'm willing to bet someone's probably ripped it to the internet. Like, it's probably on YouTube or something. If you're willing to, like, look around. You've got to be able to find it, surely. 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 Is it so weird to see since you played the RE2 remake? We're, we're an OG family around here. We play PlayStation 1 games. It is very weird that there's a fucking ladder here instead of, like, stairs. <laughs> yep. I was ready for that shit. Can't trick me. Found the dub on YouTube, so shoutouts. Nice. Good work. Yeah, I, I imagine someone would have, like, ripped it. I couldn't... I'd, I'd have been so shocked if you couldn't find it, honestly. It's like, someone surely just posted it. Is that it? Is that the only enemy in the room? Can I, can I get away with, like, shenanigans? I'm not gonna get, like, liquor jump scared around this corner. I did get the- okay, I did get the- I was about to say, I did get the crank out of the box, right? The only crank in this stream is me! I have a keychain of, like, one of the Fuga characters sitting down. Every time I look vaguely down, I just see this looking at me. My 
my beautiful daughter. I'm in. I've made it. Oh no! Zombies. Probably should have turned the speed to one for that. Good thing that didn't break anything. Open this. We use the small key. The H gun parts, I claim them. We will actually use those later. For I do not know if the enhanced handgun changes the aiming animation or speed or whatever. <laughs> and I don't want to risk it. Like, what if it disables my only decent mode of locomotion right now? Got an ad that pops up on the side of the screen on mobile. Advertised a mouse with a warning. Genius at work while I'm making my way through the room. <laughs> All of my streams should just have warning. Genius at work on the side of them. My brain is very large. Please be patient. How long will the stream go on for? Until I'm able to get out of the RPD, is the plan. Did we get upgraded parts? I've got the upgraded parts. I haven't used them yet, though. There is a liquor that is off-screen. Or is there? Autoim's not locking onto anything. Nope, nothing. Back to the speed. His methods might be bizarre, but his results are also bizarre. Yo, Poverty Ping, thanks for the raid. Welcome, everyone. We are six hours deep into the worst challenge run of Resident Evil 2 that anyone has ever conceived. Hey, hey, Warp Wire. My god, no way. Yes. <laughs> yes. It really is like this. I have been doing this for six hours. I think if I get... Oh, you can't use that here. I'm gonna shit. Okay, thank you. Crack. Did I put the plug... I did put the king plug away. Why would I put the king plug away? I need that. Well, I'm gonna enter the save room to, like, save the game anyway before the boss. So I guess it doesn't matter. Like, I'm gonna save the game not just for, like, for the safety. I don't really feel... I, don't feel, I feel pretty confident I'm gonna trash that idiot. But... It's just the fact it takes so long to get anything done that, like, I, I want to save just in case something really unfortunate happens and not... Like, imagine not saving from, like, Ada to now. It's been, like... Three hours. Am I moving? There we, okay, I'm moving. I'm definitely we're definitely moving now. 
you got to move at like a really weird angle to get him to go here. You know, running upstairs feels like cheating. Well, I don't have control over that. Leon's gonna step up them stairs. Yeah, and this is this is clearly why Resident Evil 3 is the superior game, because you can just walk upstairs. So this challenge can be done in its entirety in RE3. Something to consider. You know, for someone else who knows more about RE3 than me, I'm not fucking doing it. I finished RE3 like twice. I don't know that game anywhere near as well. This, this, this is left as an exercise for the reader. Okay, I think we're good though. We're good. Whee! Cutscene. Ah, careful. Get away! Be careful of the decent. No. No. I'm saying it's getting late for me as well. It's like almost midnight. But we're so close. We're so close to uh being able to get out of the RPD. And that is a good that is a good a place as any to like call it, you know. Like that's about the rough halfway mark, so it makes a lot of sense as a cutoff point. Hang in there, Ben. We'll get there eventually. Can you still hear me? He's right there, bro. I almost got the story. Ben. Ben. Bitter irony. The chief of police, a co-conspirator. Get that scum. Make him pay. Hang in there, Ben. My chest! Ooh, my burning. tummy hurt! No! No! Oh, cutscene's not over. <laughs> Bro didn't eat enough ethical fiber. Where are you going, Ada? That was unethical fiber. That's plan. what it does to you. I have a feeling that's where I'll find John. Ada, wait. Hey. Do you read me, Claire? We now have access to the back of the parking lot. Got it. I'm getting out of here and heading to the sewer. Can you meet me there? I'm on my way. She sounds so depressed when I'm on my way. 
Also, yeah, huh, in Leon A, you don't actually have to go to, like, to Chief Irons' office. I ne you never get, like, the call that's like, I've cleared the wreckage that's blocking the corridor. I guess it just doesn't happen on Leon A. I can never remember exactly what stuff happens on which scenario, because it's, like, just different enough that it, like, exits my brain. I, I want it. There's a green herb in there, and I want it. But I can't get in. It's impossible. It can't be done. Am I locking onto something? No. Just weird. There's a blue herb, too. The blue herb is a tool that will definitely help us. Because avoiding poison is not realistic. <laughs> Avoiding much of anything is not really that realistic. Yeah, just shoot the enemy before they poison you. That's that's about the best you can do. The dogs are free by now, still hurting on the gate. I don't think they get free if you don't walk into that area. I think they just stay shut unless you try and, like, grab a herb that's sitting over there. Well, we'll see. We'll find out in about, I don't know, five years. <laughs> We'll get there when we get there, and not a moment sooner. Is Gian pretty much impossible to avoid? Oh, that's a good point. I hadn't fucking thought of that. <laughs> I might want to bring healing items to that arrangement. Because, yeah, I'm pretty sure that dude's just going to clap me upside the fucking head like six times. <laughs> I had not considered that. How did aiming the SMG affect movement? It moves me forward, but it's a bit slow. Yeah, no, they're just, they're having a great time still inside their cages. If you don't move into the area, they don't seem to get out. You can just leave. Will I go down the ladder? Will I buy Jiminy? Get out in Claire B. Yes, there's always like there's a nice number of like little differences. There's always surprise. It's it's hard to maintain the exact differences between every single scenario unless you're like a hyper expert. That's what's nice about the four scenario setup. What's, that's one of the many things that's good about Resident Evil 2. It's a good video game, guys. And I, 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 know, I know the method in which I'm playing it uh, probably doesn't really emphasize its good qualities. But Resident Evil 2 is a good video game, you know that. I recommend it. It is, it is my favorite Resident Evil game, like, for a reason. You know, I know, I know, oh man, really, like, Resident Evil 2 being, like, the favourite is, isn't, not a very bold opinion, but it's a good video game. What can I say?
One appreciates the boldness as well, because, you know, quite famously, they tried to make Resident Evil 2 once, and it, they didn't really like how it turned out, so they just threw the fucking game out and tried again. Yeah, I think I think my bold Resident Evil... My bold Resident Evil opinion is that I don't like 2 make very much. Okay. Step 1. Shoot gun. No, do I... No, I don't need the shoot gun. Not yet. Thinking too far ahead. The Rook Plug will be now. I think I'm actually pretty okay on ammo. Like, this quantity of handgun ammo in the submachine gun should be perfectly sufficient for killing this dude. Whoa, it had been like an hour since I last saved. Right, no, what I want to check now... Does this change the, the like, the, the manner of movement, like, at all? Nah, it's fine. Nah, it's much the same. No problems here, like. I just put away. I just put away. I don't want to get rid of my mixed herb combination. I need that for like stuff. What's the estimate if I would extrapolate from current progress? Probably about 14 hours. Because, <laughs> like, this is about the halfway mark of the game. Maybe a bit over that. So from the crash, have I had any deaths? No. I have not died yet. That will probably change shortly. Probably not during this boss fight. This dude's not usually that big of a deal. But uh, the sewers is probably going to be ass crack. But that's a problem for later punchy. I won with just the handgun. Ah! The little guys! No! The little dudes are the real threat. Okay, I got one. <laughs> okay. <laughs> the real problem was the little guys. <laughs> they were more dangerous than the big lad. Okay, we're good. <gasps> he spawned more! No! You fuck it, this game sucks. It's bad, actually. I'm also wasting, like, a fuck ton of ammo trying to kill them this way. That was dumb! I wasted so much ammo! <laughs> okay, now we're good, I think. See, the pro strat is just to leave the fucking room. But, like, obviously with auto-aim doing its thing, you can't leave the room. <laughs> Man. You can tell it's hot. Even the floor is warm now. Like, when I put my feet on the carpet, I'm like, damn, that's warm. Yeah.
little fan I've got humming away in the corners, keeping things, keeping the stream under control. Keeping it cool, keeping it mellow. I don't need to use this right now. <laughs> Fuck yourself. Still on world record pace, more or less. Ada. Does the size of the gun change how much you move when you aim? Yes. What was that all about? Running off like that was reckless and stupid. Handgun make you go Those forward, knife make you go backward, shotgun make you go sideways. I was there, Leo. Magnum seems to be identical to the handgun. Look, Ada. As an officer, it's my job to look out for you. But we're not going to get through this alive if we don't work together. Okay? Yeah. Boy, right. it's late. We'll do this your way, for now. Is that, is that not close enough to drop down? Oh! I must be very patient. I'm a speedrunner. Speedrunners only know patience. <laughs> we'll do it your way, says Ada. There's still time to reconsider this, Ada. Now that you know what my way is, are you sure you want this? Like, absolutely certain? Like Ada just looking at us like Really? Really? This is what he's been doing. Engage warp speed. steps and keeps glaring at us. It's like being stuck behind a learner driver in traffic. <laughs> yeah. I'm absolutely taking these because avoiding poison is not practical. In the areas to come, avoiding poison is, like, not practical. We are going to get poisoned a lot. This is a safe room. Why am I, like... This safe room is so big! <laughs> Fun in the locker. I don't think there's anything here at all. It's 
pushable? Oh. From this direction? Oh. No kidding. I don't think I've... Have I ever done this before? Will I open it? Yeah, sounds great. Sound, sound super, let me in. Oh, it's dark in here, like. Slow. Where are the how do you I do have the lighter. I don't think I've ever done this before. This is entirely novel to me. Magnum bullets. Oh, I don't need to use this right now. Ooh, I don't need to use it right now. Well, there's no zombies in here, at least. This is just free stuff. This is great. Particularly because I reckon I'll probably need the shotgun shell. Like, I'm honestly not sure what my game plan is for Crocodile still. Well, that's a tomorrow problem. Well, I say tomorrow, I'm not doing this tomorrow. A later problem for later Punchy. Yeah, I've been to Claire's, uh warehouse. I think I found that the last time I played. But I'd never been to this part of it. I'd never been to this side. I wasn't aware this was even here. Yeah, Future Punch Future Punchy always has lots of problems to solve. Such is his burden. Ada, get out the fucking way. Ada.
Ada, quit it. It is past midnight. It is past midnight, which means it is time to fucking stop. My bros, I gotta go to bed at some point. That is about halfway through the game. About, roughly. Whoa. So, we will call that the stream for tonight, folks. If you enjoyed the stream and you want to see part two of this shit, drop me a follow on the Twitch.television. We will be returning to this at a later date, but probably not soon. Tomorrow I will be streaming on YouTube instead, doing some Left 4 Dead 2 learning with Waifu for a few hours. Don't know how long, but probably not like as long as this, because I don't think I can take Left 4 Dead 2 for seven hours straight. Uh, and then I'm mostly absent for pretty much the entirety of next week. For I have stuff to do. So I think we'll pick this back up again probably next weekend. But yes, thank you very much for watching this far. Very silly. Social media stuff. Follow me on Twitter, join the community Discord, and check out my YouTubes. Again, uh, the first one of those, the main channel, that's where I'll be streaming tomorrow for Final, uh, for Final Fantasy. This is like the four job fiestas on, so I saw it in my following list. For uh, Left 4 Dead 2. Now, who... Who do we host today? I'm gonna send you guys over to Froob. They're doing, uh, they're routing Yakuza Dead Souls. I should play Yakuza Dead Souls at some point. It's a zombie game. That's my field. I can do it. It's legal. But alright, thank you very much for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Ta-ta for now. Bye-bye.